Day six. We're gonna finish it. This is the end. We're doing it. I don't care how long it takes. We got one final stream of Skyward Sword left. Uh, we got all the fancy sword fires. We got all but one of the songs. I don't know if that song's optional, but uh, by all accounts, we're at the tail end of the game. I think we have one dungeon to do and then end game stuff. And if I'm wrong, I don't care. We're gonna keep going. So I finished the last stream by getting the final divine shield. No, not the fairy. That's not a shield. Put that away. There we go. The goddess shield. So I am I am fully equipped. I got I got the master sword. I got the goddess shield. I don't have the Hylian shield. We're not going to worry about that because that would be too uh, time consuming for my tastes. But uh, you know what? After I finish this, I could I could see myself playing some more of it. I could, I could see myself maybe even 100%ing this game more readily than I could for Twilight Princess. So, uh... I, I don't know. Maybe I did like this a little bit more than Twilight Princess. I don't like the controls. I'm still fighting them, but... I don't know. I, I, I like... I do think I like this world a lot more than Twilight Princess Hyrule. Even if it doesn't always feel like a Zelda game. Hello, Darian. Alright, so for starters, we gotta go stick our sword in the old lady's temple. Can't believe these dudes replaced the birds. Whoops. Oh, why I'm doing this is not worth it. I don't get anything for these guys. I get two rupees from that. Hello, Mr. Goron. You seem to be everywhere. Uh. So he said something about the about the walls and the arrows. Right tar strike targets from afar. Mm. You who yearns to strike targets from afar, draw this shape. Just draw an arrow. What are arrows like? 26 arrows. I'll do this just to see what it looks like. Now, I assume when it says arrow... I don't know what exactly shape it means by that. I'm gonna assume it's not this, but I'm gonna try this anyway, just to see what happens. Yeah, arrow. I don't know, I have three hearts. That was not what I was expecting would appear. See, he knows what an arrow looks like. Is that like a quest? Do, do, do I have to show him the different drawings? Hello. Sacred flames have purified this blade. Well done, Dink! Anytime, old one. Look upon you is to see that same great power now flowing through you and the sword you carry. You must now open the gate of time. Okay, I can do that. What? Does he think she wears that to bed? No, right? She takes that off? 
just sets it down next to her. All six feet of it. So the rail track I put up outside, eh? What's it for? Oh, uh, you'll see before long. I, actually, I didn't see it. That actually sounds useful. You put up a rail track? Good for you. Bruce, helping out. I fear the seal is given away. Okay, just, just as we're about to do our thing. I expected this. I knew if we were going to come back here again, we were going to fight the thing again. Show us your stuff, Groose. He's going to have like a minecart with a cannon on it. No. Yo! Try not to drool on your shirt as you stare at this amazing super weapon. The Grusinator. That was a thing. That was in Hyrule Warriors. Their Grusinator was on some some Skyward Sword maps. That's kind of impressive. He he has enough like technical know-how to build a, a catapult. And a and a rail track. I couldn't do this. Could you do this? I had no clue I had the talent to make something like this, you know? Anywho, you just tell me where you want me to place my shots and I'll put a hurtin' on that ugly monster. Okay. Now, is this gonna, like, meaningfully affect the boss battle, though? Where is it? Uh... Hello? I hear it stomping around, but it doesn't appear to be stomping around. I wonder what that stomping noise is, because it's not this yet. Oh, it's just like, the ground shaking. Bruce just found his calling in life. He's a ma he's a machinist. Good for him. Okay, let's theory craft. What what would his weapon be in Hyrule Warriors? Hello, health. I think the Grusinator is a little unwieldy to be uh, lugging around everywhere. Also, it has hands now. Okay, that's new. I wasn't expecting that. What item from this game could... Th there's a lot of cases in Hyrule Warriors where they just take items and stick them on characters and different use them. Just as a unique weapon. They can do that with Grus. Sword? Oh, I had the camera stick out. Alright. Give him the Grusinator. When you want some backup, back send me the signal with X. Oh, I, I have to aim the Grusinator. I can- I- I briefly get to play as Grus. Oh, it's great. Are those bigger bombs than usual?
Uh oh. Oh, now I need to get around it. There we go. Fuck it, give Groose the slingshot. I guess Lana kind of uses a slingshot in some of her moves. The whip. No one uses the whip. Oh god, it's fast now. Also, I see, I see digging holes. The double claw shot, yeah. Bruce can claw shot to people and then just, like, body check them. I hope I'm doing this right. He's a lot faster this time. I can appreciate at least the bat. The fight is a little bit different. I expected it to be like exactly the same boss fight three times. No, wait, come back. We still don't know what happens when, if we let this thing get to the top. I still don't think I want to let it happen for time's sake, though. It's just like an instant game over, I suppose. Uh, that's such an inconvenient place. Why is it so fast now? Stop crawling! Do I have to gruse it? No, it stopped eventually. Generally making noises. Yeah, go down. You lost your toes. Okay, he's slower now. Uh oh. Oh no! Ah! Sorry. Okay, this part's annoying, where it falls across the path, and you have to MacGyver an actual path to the thing. Who knew that it, it having arms would make this so much more cumbersome?
It's a good thing that the stone magically returns to the same place every time. It would suck if it saved his climb progress every time we fought him. It just landed where he died. If I don't do that fast enough, does he come back? Do we just start the fight over again? Oh. Oh, I gotta do... A little extra motion controls just because. Hey! Yeah, thank you, Groose. We needed the Groosinator. It, it was vital to the success of this operation. All right. Well, now that's that. Now that that's done, we can uh, go to whatever magical realm Zelda is in, and uh, I'm sure she has a dungeon waiting for us. What was with that first temple dialogue? Was she really on a quest to like bathe in all the places? That that kind of just stopped coming up. Yeah, I don't know. I'd I'd give Roost the double claw shots in a Hyrule Warriors move set. I'd have him be like uh, be like a grappler. He'd yank enemies towards them and then just beat the tar out of them. Maybe the digging mitts. That'd be kind of goofy though. Let us use the sword and go to the magic place. I do not wish to dwell on what may have happened if you two hadn't been here. Now you could take it, old one. <laughs> I did. Wait, is she talking about how she, like, talks shit to him? I think you must wonder just what it is you've been fighting out there in the Great Pit. There is much I could tell you, but suffice it to say, it is the root of the evil we face. When you pass through the Gate of Time, you shall learn more. We may seal and reseal it a thousand times. It will always shatter the bonds that confine it. Such is its awesome power. Hmm. That sounds familiar. Something that you seal over and over again, but... You know, he always comes back. Yes. Okay. Just for one, one more for the road. What do you got to say, Groose? Charge that sword of yours and zap the gate of time! Okay, okay. It's weird. Uh, once again, it's this weird anachronism that... The game that is the, the oldest in the Zelda timeline, the longest to go in the past, has some of the most, uh, some of the most modern speaking characters. Thousands from, of years from now, people are going to sound a little more medieval in, like, Ocarina of Time.
I have no idea what the last dungeon could be. I could be time related, but we already had like two dungeons based on time physics or time mechanics. Which is funny, because we had a Temple of Time-like dungeon in Twilight Princess, but that didn't use any, like, time mechanics, as far as I recall. Standing before you is a path that transcends the flow of time. It is a portal to the past. Oh. Is, is this gonna be, like, is this gonna be some Earthbound shit? Do we have to go back and defeat Gygus? <laughs> that was what that was, wasn't it? It was supposed to be like the ancient past at the end of Earthbound. That was it, Earthbound's ending was very confusing. Yeah, okay. I, I trust you, Goose. If it comes out again, you can take it. I loosened it for you. Just uh, use your hair. That'll, that'll slice it up as good as any sword. You know what? <laughs> ah, forget about it. Look at him strut. It's nice that we got Groose character development. It it, it kind of just happened all at once, though. Like, for the first third of the game, he just stood in front of his mirror. For the second third of the game, he stood in front of a wall. And that apparently those completely changed him. He's a totally new guy now. In order to use the time machine, no organic matter could go through it, so they implanted their souls into robots. Yeah, I, I remember that. I'm just trying to, like, why was, was Gygus in the ancient past? What was that about? Why, why did they have to go there to fight him? Because he's also, he was also the bad guy in Mother 1. Which was contemporary. Like, they actually met him in person. He was like the alien in a tube or something. Hey, hey skinny. You are doubtless overwhelmed, so I will explain things as simply as I can. Don't don't talk down to me. I still don't like you. This is the Temple of Hylia, though it will come to be known as the Sealed Temple sometime in the future. We, we went in the to the past in the past game. You stand in the past, ages before your own time. Here the goddess Hylia has only just sealed away demise. Little time has passed since the goddess sent the outcropping of rock into the sky that would one day become Skyloft. Is that all that she put up there? She just stuck a bunch of humans on a rock. Like, calling it an outcropping of rock sound, sounds a little dismissive. Surely there's stuff up there for them to, like, live on. I'm sure Hylia put in more work than just making it a rock in the sky. Okay, so we're in the past. There's a temple, and uh, at, at the end of the temple is Zelda. And Impa is still not really giving us an explanation as to uh, what Zelda has been doing this whole game. Ooh, let's go digging. No? Is this a bad time? They won't let me go digging.
Oh, I thought I ended the temple. No, she's just right here. Hello. I have several questions. I mean, no, no, Impa didn't fill me in on everything. I, I know we're in the distant past. In this era, the wounds inflicted on the land during the battle between the goddess and the demon king known as Demise have not yet healed. All the fairy tales about that war we heard growing up in Skyloft, as cred incredible as it may seem, they appear to be all too real. I think it's time you learn the whole story. Okay, okay, we got a plot. This is long overdue. The old gods created a supreme power that gave anyone who possessed it the ability to shape reality and fulfill any desire. They called it the Triforce. In his thirst to make the world his own, Demise readied a massive army of monsters for war. He sought to take the Triforce for himself by force. The goddess feared for her people. She used her power to send both of them, both them and the Triforce, into the sky on a slice of earth she cut away from the land. Floating Rock became the new home of our people. In time, it came to be known as Skyloft. After a long and fierce battle, the goddess Hylia succeeded in sealing away Demise. Soon after he was imprisoned, it became clear that the seal would not hold long against his fearsome power. Hylia had suffered grave injuries in her battle. She knew that if he broke free again, there would be no stopping him. And if the Demon King were to free himself, it would mean the end of the world for all beings of this land. In order to put an end to the Demon King, she devised two separate plans and set them both into motion. Dink is aghast at this story. First, she created Phi. She made the spirit that resides in your sword to serve a single purpose, to assist her chosen hero on his mission. Her second plan was to abandon her divine form and transfer her soul to the body of a mortal. That plan sounds questionable. What was the benefit of this action? Okay. While the supreme power was created by gods, all of its power can never be wielded by one. Knowing this power was her last and only hope, the goddess gave up her divine powers and her immortal form. Probably figured it out by now, haven't you? You are the chosen hero. And I am the goddess reborn as a mortal. Okay. I, 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 I knew this, but... I still do, so, like gods can't use the Triforce. What about Demise? He's he's an exception. He can use it if he gets it. I was nearly captured by the demonic forces, but I was rescued at the last moment by the old woman who lives in the sealed grounds. I had no memory at all of my existence as Hylia, but she explained it to me. She helped remember me remember who I was and what I had to do. Set out to pray at the goddess statues located in each temple across the land. Each statue stirred up memories from within me. After I visited them all, Impa, an agent of the goddess, let me hear to the past. I kind I, I kind of want to know more about this Impa. Like, what, what's what's she doing? Is is the Sheikah tribe a thing? Are they out and about in this era? Stripped a demise, stripped of his true physical form by the seal that binds him, he takes the shape of an abomination. Even in his hideous state, he's more than capable of devouring this land if we allow him to do what he desires. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we'll beat him, but... This goddess's plan seems flawed because it, it ultimately just results in the same thing. We're just going to have to seal him over and over again forever. <laughs> I must maintain the seal that I created so long ago and keep it strong for as long as I am able. With the memories of my former life returning to me, I can now see that this is my purpose. So... Zelda is going to stay in one spot and, like, pray 
in like a temple while I, I do all the heavy lifting. That, that sounds about right. That sounds familiar. Back in our own time, you've already driven him back into his prison twice now. I can't thank you enough for that. Those eyes. Dink is tripping. He's, he looks like he's struggling. He, he's having a lot of trouble with this. You learned wisdom from solving devious puzzles and traps. You gained power by honing and tempering both yourself and your sword. And by overcoming the trials, you found true courage. That's- oh, this is the, that a meme face? I haven't seen this face before. Now that these qualities reside within you, you are worthy of wielding the power the old gods left behind for our kind. You can claim the Triforce. The whole thing? Valiant hero, you have endured many hardships and journeyed far in your quest to reach this place. Oh, we get an even better sword. Okay, so we had the Master Sword, but it wasn't, like... It wasn't the Charged Master Sword? I can In theory... So if this Link has the full Triforce, he should be, like, the strongest Link right now. There it is. The Master Sword has at last, at last achieved its ultimate form. Only Dink may wield it. No one else is Dink enough for this sword. I, I guess it's a Triforce thing. I, I just connected to the Triforce. That makes sense. Dink, I'm sorry. Mark of the Triforce on your hand is a symbol of the greatest power in this world. If you can obtain the actual Triforce, we will have the power to vanquish demise once and for all. What, what do you mean the act? This is just a tattoo? Only a select few can, can wield the might of the Triforce. It's impossible to know the true reason why the old gods created the Triforce, but I have a theory. Gods created the Triforce, yet they specifically designed it so that their own kind could never use its power. Somehow, I think that may have been their way of giving hope to all the mortal beings of the land. This, this, this is some Dragon Ball. This is some Dragon Ball bullshit. Highly needed someone with an unbreakable spirit. Spirit alone wasn't enough. You had to overcome many trials and awaken the hero within yourself so that you could wield that supreme power. I knew that if it meant saving Zelda, you would throw yourself headfirst into any danger. Yeah. I mean, you could have just explained this to me. I, I don't see how that would have been a problem. Also, I hope you told Impa she was being very mean to me when, she, when we first met. That was uncalled for. Sure that the seal holds, I will remain here in this time, deep in sleep for thousands of years. What? No! No, you don't have to do that. <laughs> Until my memory of things before our lifetime returned to me, I had no idea we were fated to carry such a heavy destiny. For all this, I was happy just spending my days hanging around with you in Skyloft. What? But let's let's do that then. You don't need to like sleep for a thousand years. See, Dink agrees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
when Demise is finally gone, there will be no more need for the seal that binds him, and then I'll be able to wake up. Okay. <laughs> Illusion of choice. That's cute, I guess. I can see they're kind of trying to find a style for Zelda. They're trying to go back to something that, like, Ocarina captured. Not exactly the same style, but... Somewhere between the very cartoony Wind Waker and the, like, super realistic Twilight Princess. He's got them uh, big ol' anime eyes again. In this one. We gotta, we gotta go find the Triforce. I thought we had it. I, I guess, I guess we just have like a symbol on our hand. That's different. That's not the actual Triforce. It kind of, it kind of bounces back and forth between being a physical like object and a tattoo. Hello, Apollo. On the other side of that gate, Zelda waits, suspended in a sleep without end. But do not despair, for she is still alive and well. True to legend, the Triforce is the one thing with the power to vanquish demise. It's thought to have been hidden within Skyloft by the goddess. That is all we know. Is this Impa? Is this like old Impa? She's, she's been alive for a thousand years. Key to finding the Triforce must be in Skyloft. That's okay. I have a, I have a psychic friend. He'll, t he'll tell me where it's at. Did you find the digging hole, Gruus? How's Zelda? She's great! still stuck there till this whole mess blows over, huh? Uh. I've made up my mind. I'm not going back. I'm staying right here with Granny. <laughs> I, w I wish I had, like, better practiced my Kuwabara and my Genkai, because this... I don't know, this feels like them. <laughs> yeah, you, you said this already, Gruus. I appreciate it, though. You, you be the best temple guardian you can be. <laughs> Zelda and Granny have brought life back to the land here. I bet even the weakest sapling could grow into a beast of a tree in soil like this. <laughs> Take a few years for it to grow, but as far as I've concerned, I've got nothing but time. Get back to Skyloft. Do me a favor and let people know I'm doing okay down here. Colin and Stritch might get a little emotional. Oh, like Ostrich. I just got that. <laughs> is this a side quest or is this going to be mandatory? Am I going to have to, like, grow a tree to Skyloft? I feel like that's where this is headed. gonna be the great Deku tree. Maybe. We are near the, uh, we are near the Farron, or the woods area. Huh. 
All right, time to go Bokoblin bowling. I'm gonna get him. Damn it. Lick can't roll these far enough. Again. No upper body strength, this Link. What if Batro had the Triforce all along? What if I just need to bring him enough gratitude crystals and then he'll use it, he'll, he'll make his wish to be human, and that's how it happens. And then he'll just give it to us. Imagine getting the Triforce as a, as like a, an optional quest reward. Uh, where'd Psychic Guy go? Is this too, would this be too useful a time for him so he just left? I can't get his help anymore. I haven't seen the fortune teller much these days. You knew his crystal ball got broken, right? Hope he's not sitting at home kicking himself for not foreseeing this. Ha, 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 ha. His house is on the eastern edge of Skyloft. Well, it's nice that someone is worried about him. Got a new item in a small quiver. Yeah, I bought one already. Don't think I have anything that I can upgrade. Hey! Better bow sounds tempting, but I'm still missing so many, like, uh, pickups that I, I guess, just never figured out how to get. Alright, eastern edge of town. Gear peddler. Gear peddler. Have I just not been to any of these locations? I just, I assumed that like all the shops and everything were uh, in the bazaar. I guess I just have never been in a lot of these buildings. Hello. Hi. My house is terribly dirty. Pippet is always telling me to do some dusting around here, but I just can't bring myself to do it. I wanted to ask if you wouldn't mind clearing, cleaning it for me. Oh, okay. Horsewoman. Well, she's lucky I had a magical wind item, or uh, her request would sound kind of just like ridiculous. Hires someone to dust her house, says she doesn't have a broom, wishes a wind would just blow everything away. Also, this wouldn't work. Where's the dust going? It would all just land on the ground again. Mom. 
There you go. Somehow that worked. Gratitude crystals, okay. I, I guess that counts. Is that payment? Okay, it's 20 rupees. I was gonna say, do these people see, like, crystals coming out of their bodies? Is that just a normal thing that happens in this town? I feel like this game kind of undersells how weird that is. Houses in the very back. I'm also kind of curious what these houses that I haven't been in are. Oh, these aren't actually shops. These are just, like, who at the bazaar lives in these places. After watching this, my outlook on the game has lightened up a bit. I guess... I mean, in theory... I imagine when you're a kid, games don't wouldn't feel as long as what I would think, because you have a lot more time to play them. I don't know, I guess I didn't play any games that were, like, super hour-intensive as a kid. Unlike Maple Story, which I never got very far in because it's, you know, an MMO grind fest. Alright, house is in the very back. Like down there on that ledge, or. Potion shop owner. Oh. Hello. I don't think the pacing in this game was too bad, especially coming off of Twilight Princess. It's really just it, it's it's the motion controls, it's the it's the gimmicks that uh, that mostly hold it back. Hello. You feeling sad? You got a broken crystal ball? My crystal ball has shattered, and without it, my eyes can no longer gaze deeply into the future. He's lost his sparkle. It's like it's like the belly button kid from uh, from my hero. I don't want. I I gotta get his sparkle back. This feels wrong. If only I had a new crystal ball to gaze into. Is it not true that you'd recovered a piece of the windmill from the clouds recently? The shattered crystal ball was salvaged from below by Gondo's ancestor long before it found its way into my delicate hands. Okay. Sure. The robot who originally retrieved this crystal ball was said to have reported that he found it in a building atop a mountain peak. Well, that's very conveniently specific. Okay, so I, I can only search for one, like, lost item at a time. I'm still missing two dousing targets. That's why it wasn't on the map, because I'd never been in there before. So I had been all inside all those other buildings. Man. When we do play Breath of the Wild, we're going to be limited to uh, the days that Jack and I can stream together. And I don't, I don't stream as long with Jack. I was able to do this for like five hour streams at a time. 
It's gonna take us like five years to finish Breath of the Wild. I hope that's an exaggeration. I guess I'll have to I'll have to see how much of that maybe I can do some of that game off off camera, off stream. I don't know anything about it, so I don't know what like the structure is like. Oh, hello. It's just right there, isn't it? No, grab. It's, it's not long enough. All right, uh... Can I make this jump? How do I get up here? That is not jumpable. I should be able to just, like, beetle it down here, but I don't think it'll let me do that. Okay, that, that works. I was worried it was going to be a whole thing just to get up to that hookshot target. Alright, let's get the robot. We better not have another escort mission. One was plenty. There was a wind draft to the left. Are you talking about the butterflies? I'm gonna get so much if this dude ever wants butterflies. What helpful advice do you have for us, Mr. Gossip Stone? Oh, that's right, we get stuff from summoning them. Some of the goddess cubes unlock all sorts of treasure when they fly up into the sky. Some even hold a piece of heart. It says, as if that would be the most desirable thing to get. Butterflies sell for five rupees each. Man, what happened to, like, these are extremely rare and valuable. They're... They're rare at all. Did you see the claw shot target? I went to the claw shot target. Was there a second one? nice and quick. I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop. I'm waiting to find, uh... I'm waiting to get to the, uh, just, like, unreasonable amount of work that we're gonna have to do. Like, hey, find three more MacGuffins before the end of the game. I like that all the, like, all the people working at stores have dedicated houses that they live at. 
A lot of games kind of don't do that. You just kind of have to figure they live at the stores or something. Look, he's so happy. Never stop sparkling, Sparrow. You found it. This is exactly the same as the crystal ball I used before. Fates and fortunes, my eyes are wide with the thrill of possibility and damp with tears of gratitude. A special price. Oh, okay. Is it free? I'm still a uh, nine short of what Batro wants. He wants 30 now. I've said this, like, throughout the playthrough. The beacon system is really unwieldy. If, if there was just a button to, like, remove beacons, but there's not. Or there doesn't appear to be. Wait, no, where'd he go? He said he'd be here. Wonder if he'd come back. I did find him a new crystal ball. He's supposed to come here. Hello. What are you doing? Can I, like, eat here? There's, like, a restaurant, right? No. Do I need to sleep? Does he does he only show up like tomorrow? Yeah. I got the potion for you. I call it the air potion. You'll find that your underwater your oxygen gauge will drop much more slowly. Okay. I I have never like done what you do. What do you do, mister? <laughs> Haven't been able to sleep at night. Do I need to visit him at his home? Why, why can't he sleep at night? Well, I guess we'll see what the... I guess we'll go sleep. We'll see what Bug Guy is selling while we're at it. Or what he's buying, rather. Stritch. Paolo and Stritch. We never solved the mystery of who's in the bath at night. I don't know how to go about that. This is Dink's, no, this is Carne's room. Hector con Carne. How long did Grim and Evil last? Was it just one season? before they dropped, like, the evil segments from the show and it just, just became Grim Adventures. Hello, Stritch. Blessed Butterfly, Gerudo Dragonfly, and Starry Firefly. I have two of those. Make sure I don't have any fireflies. Five rupees for butterfly, and I have 30. Alright. <laughs> Man, those butterflies are not profitable. Which makes sense. I, I don't know why I was set up for disappointment by being told that they were rare. <laughs> why would I ever not sell all of them to him? Is there any other use for these bugs except to sell them to him? Serial Cere Sleeper Link is at it again. Yeah, I'm gonna sleep in, sleep in every bed in the village. Where 
do you live? I don't hear that voice from the restroom anymore. I wonder who it was. Do you have, like, a bed in here? No? She's the only one without a house. Let's torment her further. This poor old woman. Bugs can be used to upgrade potions. I see. That's weirdly specific and doesn't seem that useful because I never use potions. I generally never bother with, like, temporary upgrades in video games. If it's not permanent, why bother? I'll, I'll, I'll save my resources. I'll work towards, like, permanent upgrades to things. Yeah, it just needed a day cycle to pass. Thanks to you, I've been able to return to a life of gazing into the future to tell people's fortunes. Half price! So we, like, have to use him at this point, because we don't have any leads about where to go. So you finally found the one you've been searching for. That is wonderful news! Your trials are not yet ended. Now you must speak to the great giant who swims above the clouds. Talk to the headmaster of the Knight Academy. Okay. Oh yeah, I should probably, like, tell Zelda's dad what's going on with her. I, I, he'd like to know, I suppose. How thoughtless of me. I wonder how many days it's been since I started this game. Not not in real life, but like day cycles. How about like two weeks? <laughs> Although day cycles are only really a thing like up here in Skyloft. Weirdly enough, down below the clouds it never seems to be nighttime. The sun always shines through the clouds. Hey, I found your daughter, and uh, also she is an ancient goddess. Hey. Congratulations! want to tell me, but you can't. I am sure you have good reason for keeping quiet. Yeah, because I'm mute. Think, I've been doing some thinking since we last spoke. You've had this destiny thrust upon you without warning, or choice for that matter, but I wish to help you as best I can. I'm getting older and I lack the vigor of youth, but even old men have ways of being useful. I wish to share as much of my knowledge with you as I can. Yes, tell me about the ancient something or other. Where did you hear about the Triforce? It's true that the ancient texts make several mentions of the Triforce within their pages. Pages. Unfortunately, the actual location of the Triforce isn't illuminated in any of those tomes. Its whereabouts are lost to history. Shame to me to say it, but my knowledge is of little use on this subject. It would be cool if the final dungeon was, like, inside of Skyloft. I don't think it will be, but... No, I doubt anyone in town would know much about a subject as ancient and archaic as that. Hey. Uh... There is one whose vast knowledge may be of use. Surely you're familiar with Levias, the great sky spirit who has guarded our realm for ages. No! He has served as the protector of our skies for a long time, and his knowledge of our world is encyclopedic, to put it mildly. If anyone in the entirety of Skyloft and beyond were to know about the Triforce, it would be him. Hey, how do you know that word? Fear meeting him may be harder than you anticipate. 
I imagine in your travels you've taken notice of the tremendous thunderhead that suddenly appeared in our skies. I've heard rumors that Levias is trapped inside that massive cloud. I asked Instructor Owlin to look into this troubling cloud in order to determine if there is any truth to these rumors. And to inquire about his findings earlier, but completely forgot about it after Zelda went missing. Okay, let's go talk to, to Instructor Owlin. I love me an information fetch quest. Legolas, what do you got? How goes your search for Zelda? Have you found her yet? Levias? Ah, so you've been talking to the Headmaster, I take it. Levias is the one inside the Thunderhead, but that's not the Levias that we all know. Levias is the, is the dungeon. He's the final dungeon. Certainly looks like Levias, but last time I approached him, he came rushing at me. Okay. Well, we know where to go, I guess, more or less. We, we gotta go to the Thunderhead. We, ha we haven't been there for much, so that makes sense. Yeah. Let, let's go visit the giant fish. I, I was wondering when he was gonna show up, because he, he appeared in, like, Hyrule Warriors. He was part of the plot, very briefly. Levias is inside the Thunderhead. He's been acting so strangely, like something has possessed him. Listen well. We're gonna learn about the bird riding technique, the spiral charge. Let me guess. I press the left stick. Press X. Acceleration effect lasts longer than any attack move you've used so far. Maintaining stable flight can be tricky. This is a technique that only senior Knight Academy students who have mastered high-level flight skills are allowed to perform. Yeah, I've been doing that, like, the whole game. Was that a graceful dive? Oh no, he doesn't dive when he does that, that's right. I, I need to dive properly. I can't just let go. Are you impressed with my flight skills, Instructor Owlin? Now, I'm about- I'm getting a running distance, come on! Hey. Dude! Hey! Hyrule Warrior spoiled the hell out of this game. It's kinda unavoidable. I, I am a little surprised they included such, like, a late game thing. They probably could have not included the, the giant sky whale or whatever. There's no mention of Demise in Skyrim Wars, in Hyrule Warriors. It's a combination of that game and also just, uh... Also just, it, it's being hard to avoid some things. I remember hearing about Demise back when I was, uh... Back when I was using, like, Neo Seeker and, and uh... And Game Facts. I think that I, my first memory of Demise was, it was like a thread about who would win, Majora or Ganondorf. And then some guy shows up, hey guys, what about Demise? And I'm like, who the hell's Demise? Get out of here. I took this, the, the loss of acceleration from going upward is what's getting me. That That's what's making this target difficult. Is this Zelda game as good as Wind Waker? It depends on what you like in a Zelda game, I suppose. The, uh, this is probably the most creative Zelda game in terms of world and dungeon design. Well, maybe not dungeon design. Maybe. 
This game has a lot of creative ideas in it. And it does have the kind of, uh... It has the kind of cartoony spirit and, uh, colorfulness as Wind Waker. You just kind of have to deal with, with motion control gimmicks. There's a lot of things about this game that don't feel very Zelda-like, but that's just kind of a product of them using motion controls. Maybe the owner of the Lumpy Pumpkin might know something. Every year he makes an offering of his pumpkin soup for Levias. Okay, so this dude, this dude has been possessed for less than a year. That, that's, that's hopeful. Oh no, I gotta go to the bar? That dude's still mad at me. I've supposed to have been, like, doing part-time work for him for, like, two weeks, and I haven't showed up to any of my shifts. As far as I can tell, there's the only way to remove them is to pick them up and then press B. If I were to rank the 3D Zeldas that I have played, my personal ranking, I think, would be uh, Majora, then Ocarina. Would I pick... This and Wind Waker are honestly close. I think I would say Wind Waker, and then this, and then Twilight. But I was far away. Don't suck me to it. Yeah, this is rare. I think this is one of the few games I would suggest using motion controls for. I'm using the I'm playing the HD version and I'm using the button controls and I appreciate that they made the attempt to uh get rid of motion controls. I really appreciate that, but it is very janky as a result and I've been fighting the controls the entire game through. Oh. I guess this was here the whole time. Great. Well, I only have the final one left to get, and that's uh, that's at Beatles for 1,200, so... Depending on how many rupees I get, I could conceivably complete the pouch in this playthrough. Alright. Yeah. It's, did he forget? Did he forget that I'm supposed to be working for him? We're just we're just gonna do plot stuff. No. Say you'll deliver a pot of my soup to Levias. I don't know how you plan to fly into that huge thunderhead brewing out there, but if that's the case. I'm gonna do everything I can to make Levias the best batch of soup ever. All right, you, you soup it up, soup man. Been cooking this stuff for well over 10 years. I have to say, this is the best batch of pumpkin soup I've ever created. Yeah, we gotta get the robot. Also, there's robots in this game. The place where I offer soup to Levias is inside the Thunderhead Cloud on an island with an everlasting rainbow. I've been there. I, I've landed on that island. There was nothing there before. Is this the bathroom? No, this is the exit. Okay, good. Hello? Have we met? It's the, it's the mom from Legend of Korra. Hi. It's the knight who broke the chandelier, still working it off, huh? Father said he had some more work for you. No, I'm good. You never saw me. Yeah. Bye.
Where's the Thunderhead? Oh, it's just, it's far away. Okay. Come on, robot. We're going through a booster. I don't know what it is about the orchestration of this particular track. It, just, it sounds very One Piece. It's just, it's the brass. Use a harp. This track and One Piece and Dragon Quest all have very similar styles of orchestration. Hello, Captain Nand. Welcome to the stream. Oh, tornado. Do I have to protect the robot from the birds? Is that why the birds have been here all this time? Well, the bugs, rather. Picked an odd place for soup delivery. Feels dangerous. Alright. Are we going to have a boss battle with the Sky Whale? Yeah, why did we get off the bird? We know we're going to have to get back on it again. I feel sorry for this guy. Not only because of the parasitic possession, but, like, if he's this size and trapped in a... In, this is a fishbowl to him. The size of this Thunderhead. This is a very small fishbowl. Okay, now... are going to, like, fly, right? Because that's why we learned the, the dash attack. I was going to say, they, the way they framed that shot made it seem like we were going to fight him on the island. This is kind of Sonic Adventure-y. the giant obvious Majora Eye. Nope. Missed. Oh! Oh, he can hurt me. I don't know why that surprised me. What a good bird. What a loyal bird. Opponents in every Zelda game, but we, we never we never get like uh, we're never gonna get acknowledgement of the places this bird like dares to go. This is a brave bird. Once again, we got a very uh, Monsters Inc. looking enemy. Ocular Parasite, Bilocyte. Ow. Oh. Okay, Z target, please.
I can't, maybe I'm not supposed to, uh... Okay, now I gotta deflect it. I see. don't know if this is doing anything. It's getting, like, progressively limper, so I guess it must be. Sword? Okay, that, that's why one side is limp. I have to hit the two sides, not, like, the main face. Always the eye. Always gotta be the eye. Maybe if I just, like, face a little differently, I can use the shield. I just gotta, like, aim to the left a little bit. Would also help to press the right button. No, the shield always sends it straight back. So goofy, the sword attacking. I, I swear I flicked the stick. You heard me. You heard me flick it. I, why do I ever stop flicking? I should just do this. There's no reason not for me not to do this. That's just objectively the best way to fight this boss. It knows my game now, it's dodging. Done? I can appreciate this. Is this the first time we've had, like, a boss in a Zelda game that wasn't attached to a dungeon? Because that doesn't happen very often. You don't usually just go to a place and fight a boss. You feeling better? Was it you who brought me this most delectable cauldron of pumpkin soup? I must apologize for my earlier behavior. A most peculiar and irksome pest possessed me. Irksome. What's the what what's what's the fungus that like get inside of creatures and take over their bodies? I would I would not get like infected with that and call it irksome. Before she passed from this world so long ago, the goddess Hylia appointed me as Warden of the Skies. Dink, is it? A rather pleasing name. Your parents clearly have excellent taste. Thank you? 
carry a curious sword, and I sense a silent power dwelling somewhere within in that little frame. You are now you are the goddess's chosen hero. How interesting. Assume you've come to hear what what I know of the Triforce. You know? Ah. Uh, as I suspected, listen closely and I will tell you. As you likely know, long ago an evil force attempted to take the Triforce for his own. The goddess did everything in her power to prevent it from falling into his hands. Yep, it's in Skyloft. Knew that. Even I do not know. Okay, great, thanks. Useless. Bye. The song of. Okay, there's our last song. The song of the hero. The song is the key to revealing the secret location of the Triforce. Split this song into four parts. There it is. She entrusted one part to me and the other three to the dragons of the land. You must gather each of the parts of the Song of the Hero. Seek out the dragons and convince them to teach you their parts. Dragons can be found at Farron Woods, Elden Volcano, and Lanayru Desert. We're gonna do some dousing. I know how this goes. Well, it's nice and sunny in here now. Like, the Thunderhead still exists, but... If there's a lull, I'm gonna look up who the, who the composer for this specific music theme is. Who the orchestrator is. I would my first assumption would be that the like the queen is one of the dragons. Cuz she is obviously a dragon, but uh I don't know, that seems too easy somehow. Apparently there's like four composers for this game. They've kind of done that for a little while. In that, uh, like Koji Kondo did the Nintendo 64 games, and after that, from the GameCube era onward, he had like their assistance. He was trying to offload the composing work for each of the various Nintendo series. So, uh, Mario Sunshine had a... Was it Sunshine? Or it might have been Galaxy was the first Mario game to have a new composer. Which, thankfully, they that one did a great job. It took a few attempts. Like, he, uh, there's a story where he... tried to approach Kondo with his first idea for a soundtrack. And it got just totally rejected. He had to do it all over again on the basis of this new guy thought that Mario was supposed to be cutesy. So the second version was the orchestral one that we got for the final game. And then uh, Wind Waker. Kondo did like the Great Sea theme, he did the main the title theme, but most of the music was by a new composer. Which is where the MIDI fart music comes from. I don't think Zelda... I don't think the new Zelda composers have gone as well as the new Mario composer went, in my opinion. Do you know what's going on here? Uh... Old one. You seek the dragons. When the song of the hero is complete, the path to the Triforce shall be illuminated. 
Now, I'm, I'm trying to be on my way. But... I can't go through the- I can't go through the forest. The forest is closed. Help. Man, you can see through the door, too. Is that- is that her? She's just- she's in the crystal in there. We can see her. Oh, that makes it even sadder. If I were just- if I- maybe if I were really skinny, I could, like, squeeze through the bottom of this gap. I'm gonna look at uh, VGMDB, because that has really detailed info on uh, video game soundtracks. Okay, so this is sealed off. Do I have to do these in a certain order? Can I just not do this one yet? Go to the sealed ground. I was just there. There's only one entrance into the forest area from there, isn't there? Can I, like, look at the other areas? No, I can't move the map. Uh, the track that I'm looking at was by Mahito Yokot Yokota. Oh. Okay. I guess this was just happening outside. I didn't notice from inside the temple. As long as I'm at the controls of this bombshell beauty. I don't even know the meaning of the word defeat. How do you know what a bombshell is? Have, are there shell? Are there bombs with shells in this world? Because this isn't a shell. This is this is a flower. just did a boss. Now we gotta come here and do another boss. Alright, now it has feet and arms and, I don't know, a tail? I think I see, I think it does have a tail. Yep, it has a tail. Okay, Link, get moving. Look who's finally back! Same as last time. Nothing at all has changed. Oh god, it's really fast now. Can I, like, can I bow and arrow this thing? That'd be way safer than approaching. Yeah, I can. Ow! Oh! I need those hearts. Oh, the tail is smacking me. That's what's happening. Can I get past? No, I can't.
Okay, well, this just kind of sucks. This doesn't seem to be doing a lot of damage. I don't think this is an effective tactic. Oh, I'm out of arrows. Yeah, I don't have, like, a good way to get around the feet. I just eat shit every time. I have to get in front of it. There's, there's really, like, no other way to do this. And even then, I'm just gonna get knocked back again once it, like moves its feet. Hey, fingers. No? Do I have to use the Grusinator before it climbs a wall? Maybe, maybe it is different this time. Maybe I, I can't, like, wait for it to do the wall climb. Hey. Yeah, I, okay, I can't wait for it. I wish I knew that at the start of the fight. Just let me get ahead a little bit. Please! It's really... It's going full speed. It really wants out of this place. Well, this uh, this just kind of sucks. Can you claw shot them? I don't see how that would help. I think I just need to be, like, more active with Groos. I thought, like, it would give me, uh, it, it would give me a tell as to when I was supposed to use Groos. Like last time when it was the, uh... When he'd start climbing the wall. I just have to hit him with the... with the Grusinator! As soon as I get the opportunity. In a strange role reversal, I have the sword and Kuwabara has the gun. Well, the projectile. Move, Link. Move, Link! Get out of the way! Give me control, please! Yeah, no, it's not worth going for, like, at all, before I gruesome. <laughs> I just eat shit and die. Hey! Hey, I get got. Oh, it's not down for long, though. Get out! Get out! Ah! Man! Bruce taking a sweet time to reload. Uh, 
There he goes. You gotta lead your shots a little bit. It's such a brief stun. I need to get like his rear toe. Get it! Get up, get up, move! There we go, finally. And now his body's gonna cover the whole thing, and I'm gonna have to go around it. It wasn't annoying at first. It gets more annoying every time, this boss. What is it? It's got a halo now? It's got an evil halo? Where's it going? Whoa! Since when did it learn how to fly? It's headed straight for the temple. Alright, get him, Groose. No, wrong! Wait! I missed. I thought horizontal was reversed. Is that it? I just one shot and I'm done. I lose. Good day, sir. I still have no arrows. That's it. World's doomed, because Groose missed one shot. I'm pressing X. I'm waiting. I'm trying to get him back. Come on, Groose. Okay, it gives us some time. That even sends him all the way back down to the bottom. You done? No, you're gonna go up again, aren't you? You're gonna grow your stupid halo. Oh, come on. I can't get to the rest of my bomb stash. Bruce. I gotta do everything around here. Uh, where is he? Uh... There? You gotta spend bombs to get bombs. There, I did it. Blow up! No? I, I used a bomb. What else do you want me to do? Uh. You want me to use one of my bombs? Oh. Oh, okay. I didn't think that was where you were going with this. We gotta go for the spike on its head. Did I do it? Oh, okay. Well, GG, I guess. Was it, was it too high for me to hit the spike? 
Oh, here we go. Okay, well, after it starts doing the halo thing, it gets easier, at least. That sends it back down to the bottom again. Is that weird? Is that what was that not supposed to happen? I, I bounced off his head like Sonic. I'm controlling Groose, I am still vulnerable to attack. You can really see the flick back affecting my aim here. It doesn't help that I start this fight and I'm already missing health. Thankfully, I can, uh, I can consume Toenail. That seems to be a, a useful tactic. This track is also pretty one-piece-ish. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Run. Run away. Run away. Run away! Look at it, stupid, like, Frankenstein walk. Alright, phase one. If I forgot about the sail clock for this section, I would I would think that I just had to keep eating damage as I jumped down. All right, come on. I know what happens. Hallucinated. There is something, there is something magical about someone like Groose being, like, pivotal to stopping this world's equivalent of Satan. I'm a coming. This time I like know your plan ahead of time, so we should be able to do this. I'm gonna launch myself with five hearts at the beast. Oh, where is he? Where is he? He's over here.
All right, spike on his head. So what happens if this thing gets loose? Does it just, like, consume? Does it get bigger? Is it like, uh... Is it like the game Centipede? I guess that's Millipede. Is the one where your tail grows. When's, uh, when's Millipede 99 happening? Mm. Strike it, yeah. I, I, same old song and dance. I've done this before. And I have to do a new fancy motion control symbol. Biohazard. Good thing there was an invis invisible wall on his head. I didn't exactly know where to aim, because last time I thought I was in a good spot, but apparently I wasn't. Ahito Yokota. Yeah, back to the temple. Can I go, like, visit the dragons now? Japanese music composer and orchestrator. Dynasty Taxic. Di he does Dynasty Warriors music. Orchestrations and Twilight Princess. This is the guy. He's the... So, Mahito Yokota is the effectively the Koji Kondo replacement. He's the one who did the Super Mario Galaxy tra the orchestral soundtrack. So, of course, the, him doing stuff in this game sounds good. Uh, he did the... Th the th music in Majora 3D, adapted from Kojo's soundtrack. Or Koji Kondo. <laughs> Super Mario Odyssey sound management, whatever that is. I'm seeing a lot of, like, sound management and sound supervisor towards the bottom of the list. So I guess he has, like Kondo, also started, uh, started moving past the composer role. And he was the, he was the supervisor for the Super Mario Bros. movie soundtrack. That's, uh, that's not, not something. You, you can just take that off of his resume. You don't need to count that. Dink, Groos, you have both done well. I fear we can't dwell on your success. The strength of the seal seems to wane with each escape. Mate, because Zelda's clearly not doing her job. Uh, yes! I'm very close. I have to go talk to three dragons, and, uh... There's been an unusual turn of event in the woods. Path to the woods was completely flooded. The seal will only hold as long as the gate remains closed, meaning you will not be able to open it without flooding these lands. <laughs> what? So, uh, well, we have to flood the lands, then, considering the alternative. Last battle, this big ugly, big ugly got me thinking about other ways to use the Grucinator. Up in, Link! I dink. <laughs> oh my. That boy has made himself very useful, but he does have a tendency to cause trouble for those he helps. Oh, he's, he's, he's done good. 
What do you mean, cause trouble? Gr Groose hasn't, like, done anything bad since he's landed on the ground here. Bird feathers. Give me them feathers. Cause trouble for those he helps. Get out of here, old lady. Alright, gruce me up. And thus Link died. He landed horribly on solid ground, broke his neck, and was never heard from again. Nothing ever really changes. Okay, once again, we are revisiting all of the areas. How long is this going to take? I had assumed we just need to talk to, like, the water dragon lady. I knew that would be too easy. Alright. Scroats McGoat, what do you have to say? You're that one from before, come to think of it. I'd forgotten to ask your name. That's an old name. It is? This water! Good to th see you again. Things look a bit different here, don't they? Water came gushing out of the base of the tree behind me and flooded the entire woods. Don't know what caused it. I suppose it'll clear out the monster fe- It will clear out the monster infestation. Oh. Silver linings. <laughs> Why aren't there a bunch of, like, drowned Bokoblins floating on top of the water, then? I gotta go inside the tree, I'm assuming. I don't know where the, uh, I don't remember where the entry point to the tree would be. Maybe it's up high, maybe it's up here. There's a bird statue at the top of the tree. Why couldn't we fly to that one? That one's above water. What I wouldn't give to be a Zora right now. Get up. You can do it, Dink. No, don't breach. There we go. I was so shocked when water started flowing out of the great tree's roots. How am I supposed to hide when the whole forest is underwater? Uh... So I can see all the Kikwis for some reason. I don't know why I would, like, need to, but... What happened to you have four hours of gameplay left? Okay, well there's an entrance. Maybe I can go in there. No, that's not an entr entrance. That's just a knot. How do I get inside this tree? Oh, here we go. Uh, hmm. Well, that's a problem.
Surely the water dragon la uh, lady, the guardian of this area, can do something about this. Why am I being tasked with doing this? This is Farrenwoods. The whole forest has been turned into a lake. The origin of the current flood has been confirmed on the as the base of the great tree. Yeah? Well, I see... Uh... I see the hole it's coming out of. I also see this hole, and I see Bokoblins up there. How do, how do I get up there? At least I only have one dungeon left. Honestly, the dungeons have been the things that have taken, like, the most time in this game. What are, are these like poison bubbles? Are these shit bubbles? Are they bad? I don't know what that did. If I could get up there, I would be able to get into the tree, but uh, I can't. There's no visible way to get up there. What is this? Like a barrier? I guess there would have to be in order to keep the water in. Uh... Well, Phi didn't have anything useful to say. The Kikwi leader didn't have anything useful to say. I don't have iron boots. There's another hole down here, but that one is also spewing water. Sweet, uh, sweet trees. Look at all them, uh, look at all them JPEGs stuck together. Is this, this is where the, the Kikui was, isn't it? Is it gone? Do I have to talk to all of them again? Boy, I hope not. No, it was over there was the one I spoke to. Okay, here we go. Here's, here's a quest icon. Oh, it's one of the... No, it's a Kikui. I thought it was one of the monsters. I thought I was about to speak to one of those Deku Octoroks. That's it. That's all you had to say. I really do have to talk to all of them. I guess. I don't know what else to try. This might be more fun if Link could, like, actually, you know, swim underwater. He kinda can. He can do it better than, like, Ocarina Link could, but, uh... Mario, he is not. This would be a way better, like, more fun scenario for Zora Link. Oh, this started after the water dragon showed up. This flood must be her fault. I saw the water dragon. She must be hiding around here somewhere. Okay, now is she actually somewhere I could find her, or is she in the tree? In which case, my, like, goal has not changed. Uh, where was she? Isn't this, this, this was like the way to her. I think.
That was the way of the Farron Woods. Uh... I don't remember the way to the, the, the waterfall area. Maybe this was it? No, there's a barrier, so I can't go that way anyway. It's so slow to swim without spinning. And if I spin, I can't get to the next set of bubbles in time. Give me the shit bubbles. Nope, that hurt. That didn't help. Nope, go away. Maybe I'm supposed to find, like, an area that I couldn't climb to before. But now I can because it's underwater. I really have no direction for what I'm doing here. Which is a position I found myself in a lot in this game. I very frequently finding my, find myself with like no direction about where to go. I guess I made that complaint about Twilight Princess as well, and uh, if I were not already familiar with the previous Zelda games, maybe I'd find myself in that position with them as well. Don't think that I can get up there. That's not a platform. And anywhere here is going to be too high to, like, breach to. I think. Have I been overthinking this? Can I can I breach up there? No, that's that's definitely too high. Yeah. So I'm supposed to find the water dragon, hiding, quote-unquote, somewhere around here. I have no indication of where it could be hiding. So I guess they just want me to scour this entire map. Oh boy. This would be cool on a Spyro level, if you went from an uh, on-land level to being underwater. Being underwater in Spyro is fine because you, like, move fast underwater in that game. The swimming is faster than most games, but still not fast enough. Can't say I'm having oodles of fun right now. That's the edge of the barrier. We need to enter the- I know I need to enter the giant tree. All of the entrances are, uh, are spewing out water. The only accessible entrance is up at the top in a place that I cannot, like, breach to.
from underneath the tunnel you entered the tree earlier when you revisited this area. I did? Is, was there really a need for shit bubbles? Does that really make the game better? Okay. I'm looking down at the bottom. I'm looking for tunnels. There's this tunnel. This tunnel just goes straight through the, uh, through the wall. Uh... Okay, there was a tree entrance. Way down at the bottom. I kind of figured this was more or less the Deku tree, but... I don't know. Far be it for me to say that all giant trees look the same. Do you have anything to say, Mr. Seahorse person? The woods have been flooded! Okay, thank you. This is very informative. Appreciate that. Good talk. There aren't as many monsters in the woods anymore. I see. Probably because they're underwater. What are you going to tell me? A blue rupee is worth five rupees. I can't tell if these creatures are dumb or just intentionally unhelpful. Okay, turn around, please. What's what's the water dragon mad about? What, she get a pimple? There she is. Can I fight her? I want to fight her. <laughs> Who dares to dip even a toe in my waters without my leave? Mm -hmm. She's smiling. She can't be that mad. That mad. Yes. Hello. I'm stronger. I've got the Master Sword. Can you, like, unflood this place? <laughs> That's all well and good, but I can't go around giving away something that, pre that precious to every hero who flounders into my waters. This Vaporeon. I decided that I'd haven't had enough. The easiest way to deal with the awful things was to flood the whole woods. As it happens, almost every inch of greener in these areas submerged. So it's here in this flooded land that I will test you. Are we gonna have to swing through what through rings underwater? Are we gonna beaver race this? Oh, you're gonna make me douse. Why is everything in this game a hunt for several things? This is a collectathon.
I have split the melody you seek among my many tad tones, and I have hidden them around the forest. Of course you have. Take this score and collect all my little musical friends out there. You can use that score to figure out how many tad tones are in each group, find them, collect them, and bring them back to me. All the MacGuffins, all the collectibles. Well, now that we're out here, let's see what's along this path, I suppose. We can now claw shot up here, because these were conveniently not here last time. This is not a place where uh, goddess butterflies congregate, it's just the one. This one butterfly just likes this spot. Was that it? That was all that was up here was one of those things? Alright, away we go! I can't see them on my map. I, I really just gotta hunt them out. Tad tones. What what even is a tad tone? Th those are be those they. Not only are they scattered around, I have to chase them down. Tad tones. Get it? Because they look like musical notes. Are you just one big giant tad tone? Yes, you are. Wait, what was that? Was that a bad tad tone? Why is it red? of here, spike fish. I can't even attack underwater. If you can't tell, they're on a timer. I have to get all the ones in a group within a short time of each other, or they don't count. Okay, so the red ones are just for the top scale. That That's the color difference. I think. No, those ones are on the middle scale. I'm confused now. There's also yellow ones.
What do you have to say? Are you collecting tad tones? No. Some tad tones, tad tones hang out in groups. You have to catch those similar tad tones right one right after another, or they'll swim out of your score. Okay. The spins attract tad tones. They are attracted by spin. And there's enemies. Why wouldn't there be enemies as a part of this? Some nasty fish seem to have swam their way into the flooded woods. I'd hate to bump into those things underwater. There's purple ones. What advice do you have for me? The pretty bubbles are poisonous. Yeah. Again, why was there a need for those? Also, the, t the tad tones restore my oxygen. I don't know how that works, but it is convenient. I can appreciate that. That was a bunch at once. Here's a green set. These guys are just around. Giving better advice than the ones inside the tree at the very least. This is going to come down to... I'm going to have, like, one left at the very end. And it could be anywhere on the map. Those aren't tad tones, those are hearts. However, is that one? No, that's just that's just a, a MacGuffin. That's a pick upable. I'll take it though. I thought I saw some over this way. Was it those? Uh-oh. Nope. How much is left? One, two, three, four, f five groups. Our groups, quote unquote, two of them are a solo. Pad tones store oxygen in their bodies. Okay, so I'm like 
I'm grabbing the tadpoles and sucking the air out of them. Is that what's happening? Need bubble. Give bubble. Anything around here? I think I've been here. I think this is the, yeah, this is the entrance to the woods. I like how, according to, to uh, the old one, the only thing keeping this water from flooding the, uh, from flooding the sealed temple is a door. Like, she closed the door between the areas. And she's convinced that's what's keeping the water in. Not that there's a barrier around this whole area. You make those spiky things explode, you're in for a world of hurt. I know what they want me to do. I don't like it, but I'll do it, because I think I have to. Uh, now I thought I need to blow that up. There it goes. Alright, so how do I blow up this fish in the right spot? I either need to lure it or I need to get it from behind. I can probably lure it. Nope, wrong way. Over here. No, come. Come to the rock wall. Man. I know I can get it from behind. It just, it, it moves in such a small circle that is rarely looking away. Where is it? I already lost it. And the, these fish are here. Please. Nope, look away. No! Why didn't that work? I blew it against the thing. That should have blown it up. I can see there's a note behind there, too, so I need to get in there. If I hit it while it's spiked, then it will go flying. If I hit it while it's round, it will explode on the spot. I guess. No? I hit it while it was spiked and it just blew up that time. Let me, let me do the luring thing again. Just come over here. If it's conveniently close to the wall, if I hit it... Then it gets knocked away. Do I need to, like, lure it to the wall and then go around it? Those fish are kind of pushovers. 
They're a lot scary. They they look scarier than they actually like are threatening. Finally, I don't know. I don't know how that was close enough, but good. Yes, I can hear you. I thought of something good. Why don't you come and chat for a moment? Okay. Fine. I don't know how Link heard that. Should have just sounded like blub blub. Blub blub. Maybe they're telepathic. The Kikwis. There was a technique you used when searching for the others of my tribe. Remember that. <laughs> hey, dummy, you should be dousing. It took her this long to think of that. Useless. Useless, Fi. Well, this is still helpful, even if I can only do it above water. Give heart. Thank you. What have you- have I spoken to you yet? I guess they can't swim deep. Maybe in the tunnel? Is there- there is one in here. I knew you'd be here. fish don't learn. They're not very smart fish. Alright, here's where the last, uh, the last big cluster is, by the look of it. And I've got two more smaller clusters. And one solo one to find. Way. Nope. Sorry. Just wanted to douse. I wonder what's going to happen to Fi in this game. Like, is she still in the Master Sword in the later games and she just, like, doesn't come out and talk? Don't answer the question, I'm just- I'm wondering that aloud to myself, is all. This is a strange task to be doing this late in the game. This doesn't feel like something that I should be doing while uh, the world is in great risk. I dare say this feels a little bit silly. 
collecting <laughs> collecting tadpoles because some uh, some entitled queen doesn't want to help me save the world. Also, she's gone like full Noah on her entire region. Like, finally, a protector god actually does something, and this is what she decides to do. I'm so glad that we have guardian spirits in these lands. They're so they're so helpful. Douse, and the last... One of the last ones is over here. Where is it? Is it in this little alcove? No. one of these near here. I'll take that. Is that it? It's hiding in the coral? Come on, get out of there. Oh, you, you bastard. How am I gonna... Hey, fish. Come here, Mr. Fish. Maybe I can get the fish to, like, ram it. Maybe that's what they want. No? I don't think I can whip it from underwater. No. It wants me to dive from up there. All right. Well, thankfully, I can now hookshot up there, so that's uh, easier than it was in the past. I have to go through the entire tree again. Let me just make real sure I got the right spot. Yeah, you, right there. Alright, Geronimo. Get out of here. Oh, where'd it go? Hello? There you are. All right, one more. Get up. Get up, Dink. One more dousing. Right. Either in the tree or opposite the tree. It broke my bubble. Are they increasing in number? Are we getting more of these, like, aggro fish? as we collect more of the tad tones. One, two, 
That was a poison bubble. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, he runs out slowly in that scenario. Leave, leave me alone, fish. I don't know why I'm dousing. Well, I saw... I got one of them. I need to... Where's the other one? There it is. All right, I collected your stupid song. It's like the Zora Egg song on crack. Look at how many of these there were. And that's just part of the song? I'm not very musically talented. I'm not going to remember that. Yeah, back to the water dragon. Worst character in this game. That stupid dragon. Claw shot from here. No. I'm gonna be over on this one. I keep thinking that I'll just I'll float up by myself like you do in the uh, 64 games. No, it doesn't work like that in this one. Definitely gonna save after that shit. I can't wait for the trials in the other two areas to be even more obnoxious. Hey. Yes, I've brought back all of your tadpoles. That definitely makes me worthy of being a hero. Collecting tadpoles in a flooded map. Yes, sir. <laughs> you sing off key. Good. Yeah, this was a horrible decision as a leader. You're a terrible guardian spirit, just like every guardian spirit. As I expected, the water level in the Farron Woods has dropped. The forest has returned to its former, less aquatic state. The melody you just acquired is one part of the Song of the Hero. I recommend you seek out the other two dragons. But this is the only dragon I knew! I gotta, like, meet the other two dragons.
Why would the... Okay, so Owlin assumes that you haven't been using this X speed-up thing the entire game until that point. Surely the game knew that you knew about it. That was just in case, like, no one ever tried it, right? Like, they expected you to use it before that point. That was just like a fail-safe. Oh boy, what are we doing? Eruption? Is there gonna be more lava? We're gonna be jumping across a bunch of floating platforms. In a sea of lava. No, we get blown away by a sandstorm. And are in prison? That sounds like a logical conclusion. Oh, they took my sword. I have a pouch and items full of Boko Blends. They took my digging claws. What didn't they? They didn't take my earrings. They didn't take my harp. Oh no, the Boko Blends have the true master sword. All is lost. This is a weird direction for this to have gone. Okay, I can't dig. Oh, hello. See you guys again. Ta-da! I'm here to save the day! Long time no see! Don't tell me you forgot about my ugly mug! I'm Platts, the magma you helped in the Northern Temple! Saw them dragging you off unconscious, so I tailed them. You're pretty fearless, eh? What are you up to now? Searching. I know why you're really here. You heard the rumor about the baddies and their treasure, too. You know what I'm talking about, the rumor that some bad guys are having a little get-together on this mountain? Are we gonna crash a Girahim party? They swiped all your stuff! While you were out, they shook you down good, pal! You're gonna want to get your stuff back before you go and try anything else. I can get you started. I stole these back for you. Gloves? Mitts? Mitts. Of course, these are the things that the mole men would think are most important. Time for me to tunnel out! Great. It's better than nothing. Can I just, like, go to fisticuffs with the Bokoblins? Surely I can fight with these digging mitts. They got, like, claws on them. Alright, cool, cool tunnel. Might as well have just been a straight line. Why are all the boxes there? Who's putting boxes underground, anyway? Alright, now here's the question. Because I don't have a sword, if I get spotted, can I still run away? Or is it just... No, you got caught. Instant loss. Let me... I'm in a high-pressure situation. Let me just sit with my back to the exit and look at this lovely wall. Yes, this is the site I wish to look at. Beautiful. Oh, there's bats. There's dark bats. Dark keys. I don't want to get cursed. I won't be able to use my sword. I'm going to guess this goes to a guarded path. No? I thought for sure that I would have to dig through that, uh, that tunnel we just saw. Well, now I want to see what's in there. Oh. Just ore.
the different uh, breathing effects for whatever the stamina gauge is at is a nice effect. Oh, hello again, Platts. What do you think? You shouldn't be out here in the open with no way to defend yourself. This place is crawling with thugs. Just be careful they don't spot you while you're sneaking around. I want a box in a Zelda game. I want Link to go to task with someone, just like fist to fist. I know it's not going to be as, as effective as with a sword, but... He can't be, like, defenseless without one, right? I'll show you something good. Open up your map. I feel terrible for you. Old Platt's gonna, here's gonna show you what's in all the treasure chests. I have to recollect all of my items. Okay. Well, this seemed... This is a cooler idea than, than collecting tadpoles. I'm fine with this. Especially since I don't have to swim for this stuff. I'm gonna bet this is gonna be the coolest of the three areas, and then the, the desert one is gonna go back to, like, being shitty. I say coolest. This is still, like, this is a stealth section. I gotta avoid getting caught. Now, what is a Bokoblin's range of sight, is the question. Turn around. Given the way that uh, Platts was talking, I have to assume that if I get spotted, that's that's just it. I just I get get captured. Hello. Nope. Uh, here we go. Here's some tunnely tunnels. He can jab, he can jab rocks. Just like, do that to Bokoblins. Come on, Link. Nothing? There's a dead end? Great, okay. Was that one of the tunnels that had, like, the flame-breathing guys in it? It's been a long time since we saw one of them. Not that I'm complaining, they, they kind of suck to deal with, but, uh... Where am I? Did I go the wrong way? Do I need the, the bellows to continue in this direction? Do I need Emperor Bellows to help me out? I do not. There's a path down here. Okay. Good thing all these uh, convenient holes are all over the place. Otherwise, Link's adventure would be over. Slow down! There we go. I wonder what those enemies are called. 
It's not vitally important. I'm just kind of curious, especially since we can't, uh, I don't think we can Z target them and like ask Fi. Actually, we can't call Fi at all when we're down in the tunnels like this. Hello. Uh, that's a, that's a bright spotlight. Let me just go up this way. And Bellows? Bellows. section. Ah! Oh, they have a wider range than I thought. That's what happens? I get hit with a rock? That was like a cartoon anvil effect. Oh, keep moving. No. Oh, he turns around. Nope. I'm going. I'm gone. I'm underground. You can't see me. that the uh, right stick is the attack down here. I'm used to uh, the left stick being the only stick button that you really use. I don't think I strictly needed to kill that thing. What are you? Slingshot? The claw shots. Is that useful for my current position? It is. I'm sure they won't spot me doing this. This is inconspicuous. Like a ghost. be able to go up there. Oh, because there's a... I gotta bomb a rock to go up there now. This game sure does like revisiting areas. Like, uh, remixes, so to speak. Was it just too early for me to come here?
There's a path down here I can take. Where does this go? Uh-oh, wait, no, that was a bad jump. I shouldn't have done that. Uh... I guess we'll see where this takes us. What's on the map? Uh, that's where the whip is, on my right. Looks like the only thing nearby. I appreciate that they're doing the stealth section towards the end of the game. As opposed to Wind Waker, which, like, opened with it. It takes a long time in Wind Waker before you get to, like, sail the open sea and really explore. Twilight Princess had the same problem, but arguably even worse. Th those games are so slow to give the player any freedom. Ocarina, you have to do, like, a dungeon first, but, uh, you know. It's a very short, basically, tutorial dungeon. And Majora's Mask just makes you do the whole, uh... Makes you do the one cycle in Clock Town. Which works out for the game, because it's, it's like kind of really important to know Clocktown well. Hmm. Uh. Am I supposed to claw shot somewhere? I think I am. Oh, I can't put it away. I don't have, I don't have a bomb bag. We are back to being able to pick up and use uh, bomb flowers, but not carryable bombs. Can I blow up the tower? Is that a bad idea? Ah, I'm sure that was a coincidence. What a fucking brutal way to die. That Bokoblin just had no idea what was going on straight into the lava. All right, whip's back. Uh... Is there anywhere else we could go in this direction? And blow... Might be able to blow that up. Maybe. Probably not. We cannot. Some uh, sturdy craftsmanship. bothered to give the uh, the hook shot like physics so if you run into a wall you drop ocarina didn't do that if you hook if you hook shot something you hit a wall you just keep you just go right through it all right where are we going from here we got all the chests down here doesn't appear to be anything on the top of the slope so, we want to go to the left up this way. And there's our bombs. Is that a beacon? No. What is that? Ah, that's not important. I'm sure it's nothing. Are you coming down? 
No. Okay. Well, I guess we aren't going this way then. I don't have any items that'll help. The billows, maybe? No, that didn't do anything. Uh, I would need bombs for- oh, there are bombs. Okay, that's good. Got a long fuse on the bombs in this game. The most amazing treasures of the world just up ahead. You going after my bomb bag? Are these nuts? Seeds? Hey! Boo! A while ago, them all them bad guys started disappearing. I noticed they were all gathering up ahead. They must have su they must have something good. Uh Cannot go this way without bombs. So I gotta go get my bombs. Excuse me a moment. Where does this go? That's just a dead end. That's nothing. Gotta worry about bats. They're not even guards. What happens if a bat catches it? I just take damage, right? Because it's just a bat. Get out of here. Are there Bokoblins here? I don't immediately see any. However, they did bother to uh, direct my attention to these guys, which seems like it would be telling. Are my bombs this way? No, my slingshot is this way. Okay, well, I do need that, I guess. I could probably go the rest of this game without having my slingshot, but I guess I should get it. Uh, well, now what? Oh. What was that? Ah, I'm sure it was nothing. got that. Still can't go up this way because we don't have bombs. I think. I guess, no, I, can I just climb back up. Okay. This is a two-way claw shot section.
And now that I have the scatter shot, I actually have a, like, fighting weapon. In theory, is it still gonna make me, like, just give up as soon as I get spotted, is the question. Plenty of seeds around, they knew we'd need them. Actually, I don't think... Does the slingshot even damage these guys? Does the claw shot damage it? I might still have no way to damage these guys, even with my current arsenal. It stuns them. Oh, that didn't help me. Hmm. Why wow, the claw shot doesn't... Okay, claw shot... Also, that claw shot actually is even worse. It doesn't even stun them. Okay. I guess that's what I'm doing. I'm stunning them and running past. Just gotta make sure the dino does not blow his horn. And another tunnel? No. I know this works. Oh, it's only temporary. <laughs> They're really trying to uh, find a way to use the slingshot creatively. Since before now, we really have not used it in quite a while. You think they feel that? Surely, like, there's the ground quakes a little bit when a bomb explodes underneath it. At the very least. You got your bomb bag back. Time to make something explode. I wonder which Link would be deemed, like, the most psychopathic. That line was a little unhinged, that particular text box. This is just seeds, I bet. Yeah, it's just seeds. They just they put a bunch of seed holes seed holes around. All right, I finally have weapons again. And now I can go to... Where did I need to... I need to go over here. I can actually... I do have a weapon now. I have bombs. This is like a randomizer. Playing with uh, limited... Limited items. This is something I usually like only have to do in Wind Waker. Here, I think. Uh, is this where I want to go? There's a rock here.
Also a gossip stone. What does this gossip stone have to say? Oh, a new material. An evil crystal. Extremely rare. I wonder where we get those besides gossip stones. Word going around is that a dragon wrapped in flames lives atop this volcano. He isn't easy to visit. Well, that didn't work. This is going to be annoying. I'm going to have to time this. Come on. Blow up. Go on. Do it. Yes. That was not as bad as I thought it would be. Okay, a quick refill on bombs. I thought I had a bigger capacity than, uh... Oh, it's because they, uh... They took all my pouch items. I'm gonna have to... I'll bet I get, like, my whole pouch back at one time. Wait, what now? Uh... Hmm. Okay. Cool room. I'll be back here later. Okay, so I got my bombs. If that's not the way back to where I wanted to go, what is the best way there? Uh, I guess I just go over the bridge and across again. Bridge. Using that word generously. Go away, Keese. What's up there? Have I been up there? Oh, uh, that's just like, uh... That's nothing important. All right, going to crash the monster party. See if I can uh, single bomb this. That goes to the slide. But I want to go up here, I think, because there weren't any more things on our uh, on our map. Oh, hello. They just stuck it in the ground for me. But there's a treasure chest. We gotta check out the, shi the shiny treasure chest first. Alright, five rupees. Awesome. Sword reacquired. It was so lonely. I had no one to annoy for an hour! While I was here, I detected a strong source of power emanating from the area on the far right. Signs indicate a 60% chance the dragon who knows a verse from the Song of the Hero dwells there. Alright, uh... I don't think that I can bomb that from down here. Alright, this is going to be a, a gust, and it's going to send me over the fence so I can fight all those bad guys. No, it's going to be a fairy. I don't have my pouch. I can't bottle that. Get out of here, lava fish. Oh, I don't have my shield. They took that. They took everything. They took the car. They took the kids. Oh, hello. Huh? 
Can I get that from here? Not that it matters. I don't know if I'll even be going up to the sky again. How optimistic are you about finishing this today? I'm still gonna go for it. I would really like to not stagger the Zelda playlist. This was the dungeon we already did, right? What is this place? Volcano Summit. We already this this is the dungeon, right? I guess in a worst case scenario I could like uh I could like do the, the final bits of the game tomorrow and then like lead into the end of the randomizer. I got nothing else to do, though, so. If I really needed to, I, I, could, I could do like eight hours today to finish this. Uh. Okay. So I just can't do anything here, I guess. Hmm. Got these fruit, which is... Oh, here's one that I, is, like, ground level. I didn't think any of them were. Alright. We fight in mode again. Get some skulls. What's in here? Is it... What am I missing? My bow... My adventure pouch. Oh, and the rest of... Okay, that's just everything else at once. I guess they couldn't fig... They couldn't think of enough puzzles for the rest of the things. They had mercy this time. They did They did not have mercy with the uh, forest section. Alright, now that I got all my stuff back... Where did Fi say we were going? I, I wish she would just, like, put something on my map. By over to the right, she means over this way. Okay, so th this is the way we gotta go to meet the, meet the, the dragon man. On our way to meet Trogdor. Get, you get in that lava. Get out of here. This looks so much like the entrance to the temple that we'd already been to. I guess it's a new area. I guess we haven't been here. Would have really liked to get that fast beetle. We never did. We never uh, were able to do a beetle upgrade. Maybe next time we're in Skyloft, we can make a final check as to any item upgrades we can get. Although it's probably going to be, like, useless by that point in the game. I do think the beetle is my favorite, like, new item from this game. It's not a new item in the realm of video games, but it's new to Zelda.
Hello. A man of flesh and blood has walked his way to the heart of my burning hall. Now this is something. If I have the right of it, the mark you bear upon your hand is not just a fashionable decoration. What if it was? What if I just got a tattoo? Listen well, human child. I will sing you my part of the Song of the Hero. I can't tell if this is this one's supposed to be a man dragon or a lady dragon. Because when it said a man, I, th I thought like, a man! But it's got a deep voice. But the Lady Vaporeon also had a deep voice, so I don't know. Anyway, he reminds me of Aku, and that's pretty cool. The skies above this land should clear soon. Was it, was it just an incidental eruption? It had nothing to do with what was going on? Also, they said they were having a meeting of the monsters. I thought, like, Girahim would be here. No, it was just it was just a big Bokoblin party. Alright. Well, that wasn't too bad. That, that was definitely not as bad as the water as the water area. Now to see what they're gonna have me do in the desert. You know what? Skyloft is on the way. Let's see if that evil crystal unlocks anything. Let's see if we can put the power of evil to use. No, I wanted to go... Where's the bazaar? I want to go to the bazaar. How many rupees are we? Seven, seven, seven. What do I win? <laughs> Mr. Upgrade Man. Is there any slight chance you could be useful for the final leg of this adventure? Uh, I could almost get a bigger net. We still need Hornet Larva for the beetle. I need a tumbleweed and I need more monster claws, which we're not getting much of. We have been short on monster claws this entire game. Alright, so the only upgrade that we could uh, conceivably get is the, uh, the bug net, which I don't know what exactly that helps with. It says I can catch more bugs, but does that mean, like, more bugs spawn? So, so far, we've been able to catch every bug that we see. This would be better without the diving and, and, like, slowing down when you gain altitude mechanics. I get it, it's trying to be realistic, it's, it's just, it's less fun when I can't go up without, like, going way slower. I just end up having to, uh, do the flap over and over again to gain height. Yeah. 
Oh, I can ch I can land wherever I want to this time. What's the catch? I guess I could go wherever I wanted last time. It was just once I landed, it triggered like a cutscene. No? Uh, Fi. Where are we going? Can you douse a dragon for me? Study the local terrain. What do you mean, study the local terrain? I've been here. What's, what's new about the local terrain? Nothing. Uh, I guess I'm going to that place? To the... This isn't still the point of interest, because I've done this. Yeah, this isn't new. What's in here? Have we been in, inside of here? This is the mining facility, so yeah, we've definitely been in here. If I, once again, not being helpful, I might have to go ask the, ask the psychic what to do. up here. Up here was, a. Uh, this was part of the, part of the challenge. There was like one of the, one of the tiers at the top of this. I think that's the only reason these vines are here. Oh, there's the treasure chest. That's, that's nice. Okay. Golden skull. A glider would just be lovely. That would be a great thing to have in this game. Specifically, that would have been a great HD version edition. It's a shame they didn't do that. Alright, well, I don't know where to go, so, uh... Maybe this robot knows. Yes, I'm looking for the Dragon God. It's Master Thunder Dragon you want to meet. He's to the south of Laneru Caves. I don't know of any other dragons, though. South of Laneru Caves. Okay, let's go to Laneru Caves. Remember those hookshot targets. Yeah, I, I've been there. I, w I went to that place, didn't I? Still don't have any arrows. Dumb bulkab one. These guys actually go down quickly with the final ver with the final like most powerful sword. I'm assuming there's not one stronger than this. I guess it would be nice, but like 
It would also be thematically strange to get one stronger than, like, the fully awakened Master Sword, given all that we've done for this thing. Did we never go up here? Yeah, we did. This was where the we met we met this Goron fella. Hello. Ah, oh, he remembers my name. That's great. We only met like once. I'm going to play a song in celebration of our reunion. Another evil crystal. Somewhere in this vast desert, there's a dragon who loves putting the abilities of those who visit him to some kind of test. If you can master the challenges he throws at you, you'll be rewarded with a shield stronger than any other. Okay, this is where the uh, this is where the optional boss rush is. I see. So I want to go south. And fortunately, this guy has now moved so that I can go there. After all the adventuring, you finally found it. I have to say, you're pretty amazing. I found out some more about the legend of the three dragons. I, is that what he was looking for? It's been so long since I... I rebe okay, it hasn't been. It was like a day or two ago, but... I don't remember things. I'm terrible with names and faces. My theory is that it probably links to the home of the Thunder Dragon, one of the three dragons in the legend. I like that he said that he could fit through there if he lost some pounds. I can't... I, I want to... I'm trying to picture a skinny Goron, and I just can't. What would a skinny Goron look rolling look like? Would it look like a wheel? Cool guys sit down during explosions. It's, it, you'll be okay, buddy. Oh boy, another one? What do you got? I say that. It's nice to do these because I do get, like, good materials from them. Seems that drawing a circle on certain strange walls will produce something round. Something r bombs? I can get bombs from those? You know what? Hold up. I need to look that up. This is important. Skinny Man on Zeldapedia. Uh, oh, you know what? There was that dude. There was the... One of the elders in Twilight Princess. There was the dude working at Mallow's shop. He was like the, the tall, skinny, Jamaican-looking dude. That was probably the skinniest Goron. There are a couple of old skinny Gorons in the world of Zelda. There it goes. Hello, Fi. This is Laneru Gorge. Legend tells of a dragon loyal to the goddess living in this area. Signs indicate that an ancient civilization established a quarry here to mine the deposit of high-quality time shift stones. Again, we're doing the time shift stuff. They came up with a good idea. We got we got to use that. We got to run that into the ground.
Is this gonna be like, uh, like timing? Like I'm gonna have to run alongside a moving minecart. I feel like that's what we're gonna do here. I see a small key door. I'll just bomb some stuff. No one will mind. A B A. Always bomb everything. Wait. I'm sorry, what? Oh no! I missed the dragon! Uh oh! Well now what? That's kind of morbid. I have to go meet him in the past when he was still alive. The time shift stuff has like more to do with, with death. Than a lot of the death-themed temples in the in the Zelda franchise. This is turning death into a game mechanic. That's impressive. Uh, I can't. I don't think I can bomb that from here. Unless I can be like really precise with my bomb. I don't think it'll let me though. Yeah, it just rolls off. Oh, wait, no, I'm dumb. I gotta make sure you remember this. Probably means we're gonna be using it here. I guess that's, that's part of why this area has, like, a robots. That makes it less morbid if uh, you're going back and forth between, like, operational and unoperational. The Bokoblins go between just, like, alive and being just skeletons, but, you know, they're bad guys, so they, they don't count. You don't have to sympathize with them. This is the, this is the trial, isn't it? This is where I get the Master, the Hylian Shield. Or whatever, what, what's it called in this? What, what's the actual name of it? Because it's got, like, the design of the Hylian Shield, but... I guess it could be called that. Because Hylia exists. She's the she's the goddess. I was gonna say it wouldn't it wouldn't make sense to be called that because Hyrule doesn't exist, but it's not called the Hyrulean shield. Uh oh. Is this not possible? This is going to take all my stamina to lift it up this. No, no, I wanted to... I pressed the wrong button. Man. I'm wondering if any games besides Hyrule Warriors uh, differentiate Hylian and Hyrulean. I liked that that game did that because it set the difference between uh, like the race Hylians and the nationality. Hyrulean. I assume I must have to do this by the fact that I... It, this is like... This is a really conspicuous thing. Uh, I say, but I can't, like, throw it across, so... Why did I bring this up here? Can I bomb it? No? That's a tough rock. What can I do? Can't like, I can't grapple it to me or anything. Can't whip it either.
Obviously, I need a time stone, a time shift stone to do a lot of the stuff here. Is that, is that boulder too far to hit with a beetle? It's fortunate I don't have to worry about the, the bomb timer. That doesn't start until the beetle, like, lets go. This doesn't look like something they would expect you to do, though. No, it's too far. Fi. What useless advice do you have for us today? I detect the bones of a large creature to the south. Uh, okay, use my beetle. I did that a little bit. I explored this way. Uh, is there anywhere else I can usefully explore? Oh, it's chained. Well, it was chained up. It's free now, I guess. Hello. Uh, I thought this chain was just decoration, but it's not. Maybe I can just pick up the key. Would that be too easy? Oh yeah, I can. I don't even need, need, need to make it back. That's tricky. No one looks down in video games. So this is not the trial that I thought it was. Is this just going to be like a final gauntlet using all of my items? Because that doesn't sound so bad. Alright, here's the time stone. And now begins the mine track. Oh, they're using digging mitts. Well, this one is anyway. There are lots of big time shift stones here. Did you get permission from Master Thunder Dragon to come here like we did? And away it goes. It, it finished its, its sentence immediately before dying again. It's so grim, this area, when you think about it. I kind of like that, though. I, I like parts of Zelda games that are, like, they seem innocent if you don't think about them, but then they're really fucked up when you do think about them. No, I need that. Ah! My heart! Do I need to stand on this button? No, I just need to step on it. I think. Oh, hello. It 
This is uh, pretty much exactly what I expected this area would be. But this is fine. This is this is way more manageable. Than uh collectathons. Although I worry I'm gonna like get to the end of this, we're gonna like awaken the dragon. You know, from being fucking dead. And uh then he's gonna say now collect all these things in the area. Oh no, you just did the first half of my trial. No! I hate these flowers. I'm so bad at dealing with them. Uh, wait, where am I going? Oh, I can reach that. Oh boy, here we go. This particular, uh, this particular time stone has a very vertical bubble. It is not round at all. I saw a hook shot, a claw shot target. Oh, I gotta go higher. Yeah, this is the last one, so I, I, I guess I should have figured it'd be a bit, at least a bit of a pain in the ass. This was too easy. Oh boy. Oh boy, running out of time. Shit. Thankfully, each button is a checkpoint. Ah, that was nice of them. How does a hookshot target detect decay and no longer be usable? got in the way of combat. Uh... Ow. Does it not like being underground? What's going on? What do I do here? Oh, the whip, obviously. Duh. Go on, whip it. Wink, blink, dink. The whip is very finicky with the button controls. I hope it would be less so with the motion controls. Oh, these things. 
I was wondering if these things were going to show up. No, whip it. That's mean, having me do, like, rope sections. No! Oh. On a timer. Oh, it's sand! That's right! run past. I don't care. Okay. We're good. What is the purpose of these? Why are these here? Are they to try to pre prevent people from walking through the uh, minecart path like I am doing? No, run up! Link, what's the problem? Oh, I see. Link very quickly eating that fruit. I like the Beemos in this game. These Beemos are easy. I can just kill them with my sword. Oh, this guy again. This was trickier than I expected it to be. Fortunately, we're on the home stretch. I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop. Go, swing! Swing your sword! Oh, because I have the camera stick. Uh. Oh. Good thing there's a walkway all the way across here, or this is where Dink's adventure would end. Oh, I can finally kill them in one hit. I'm so glad to have the final sword. I hate those flowers. What do you think this feels like? What does this look like from their perspective? Like, as soon as they enter the bubble, I just... ...pop into existence, right? Hello. We got permission from our master, the Thunder Dragon, to dig for time shift stones. He's very ill. I'm worried about him. Hello. I understand that uh, you have little time left. I also have little time. I'm trying to save the world. What say we both uh, 
just, like, you can just give me the song. We don't have to do anything else. I haven't had a visitor like you here in quite a while. You're a human, aren't you? Must have some reason for coming this far. <laughs> Dink, from the sky. It's not much better. Why does everyone have a comment about my name in this game? How about I add a model number? LD Dink 16. Is that to suggest that this link is 16? <laughs> you say you need me to teach you a song? Yes. You're the hero chosen by the goddess. Well, that is something. I must apologize. You see, I can't really help you. I may have enough strength for a brief chat like this, but as you can see, I am quite ill. I'm in no shape to sing. Just, like, hum a few bars. Get a xylophone. Or a kazoo. I, I, can I get you a kazoo? The robots were worried about me, so they planted a seedling from the tree of life. The fruit of this tree is said to be able to cure any illness. They planted the seedling over there, but it just won't grow. Hey, I need your seed. On the other side of the bridge. Other side of the bridge. That bridge? This here? We wanted Master Thunder Dragon to get well, so we planted a seedling from the Tree of Life, which bears a fruit that is said to cure any illness. Is this it? I got my tree seed. I don't think that's it. Nope. Put away. Again, they use these time mechanics a lot in this game. It's not even just in the... There's three desert areas now that have used it. And then they also introduced it at the, at the temple. Which is where I, f I can safely assume we're going to uh, be using this seed. Or I have to go plant it a thousand years in the past, or however long it was. Oh, this is weird. I'm going to undo an, the existence of a present-day tree. Soil here is not suitable for growing trees. It looks... it looks suitable in this era. I guess it's just not. I guess all this greenery is a facade, and underneath it is already desert. Well, let me just, uh... Ooh, another flower. Let me just take this off your hands. What are you doing? Master Thunder Dragon needs fruit from the Tree of Life to recover! Eh, I don't really care about him. Since you uprooted it, it's your responsibility now. Make sure you plant that seedling where it can grow to maturity. That means taking it somewhere outside of the Lanayru area. See, this is easy. This is an obvious babby puzzle. I can do this. I know exactly where to take this tree. I have a memory span of more than five minutes. Uh-oh. What? Uh, hmm. Oh, I don't have any... Hmm... Y'all got any arrows? Hello, Apollo. The grass just doesn't drop anything in this game. It's so useless. 
I don't know why I would expect, like, adventuring supplies to drop from grass. I'm just, I'm so used to it. There's money in grass. I get paid to cut it. Uh, oh, I can just use the beetle. That's right. Thankfully, they thought of this. They thought of, they thought to give us a projectile that does not require ammunition. We're going to cure his illness, and that will make him alive even in the present-day era. Maybe. This is the maximum extent of the time fuckery that we have done in this game. in this in this music track I forgot about the dragons when I said how much of the game was left I see I was wondering about that so you think that I have four hours left after the dragons. I know I have, like, a final temple left, so, uh... I'll see how long that I can stand to go today, and if we don't finish it, then I'll, uh... I'll do the end of it tomorrow before we go into the uh, randomizer stream. Alright. Now, planning it in the present day wouldn't do anything. Which is why I'm not going to plan it in the present day. But let's see what Groose has to say about the idea. Groose, do you think this is a good idea? That is a serious seedling. Why didn't you tell me you had that thing on you? I'm no expert, but it seems like the perfect fit for this temple. If you plant it here, it'll grow for sure. Only downside is, it's gonna take basically forever. You're so smart, Groose. I knew it was right to ask you. Why can't you be my sword spirit? I would probably get more use out of having Groose tag along with me than I do Fi. Oh, that's right, she's just here hanging out in the past. What is this called? Like, the Tree of Life? Is this- is this why... Did Impa just stay back here and eat from the Tree of Life? Is that why she grew to be like a thousand years old and became the old one? I'm- I'm guessing that they're the same. I don't know. Why can't Groose be the Zonpakuto? Did anyone have a Zonpakuto spirit like that? I don't remember them well enough from the, the Zonpakuto Rebellion arc. <laughs> he just he just wanted a, a, a tree planted. I got the life tree fruit. Oh, 
a lot of the Zonpok toes were like very opposite of their uh, their Soul Reapers, but a lot of them were also very similar to their Soul Reapers. Bia Biakuya and uh, Senbone Zakura were like practically the same character, as I recall. The tree would have always been there. You are correct. There's a there's a games that try to do time fucker usually don't like make a lot of sense because of it, but uh It's interesting for gameplay even if it doesn't make logical sense. No, take me to the sky. I want to fly. Like an eagle. Let my spirit carry me. My favorite part of the uh, Zonpokto Rebellion arc, which Jack and I have referenced a couple times, is the fact that we like, uh, we see Renji Zonpokto early in the series when he's uh, training for Bonkai, and it's like it's like a big monkey with a snake fur tail. And then during the Zonpokto Rebellion filler arc, when all the all the spirits are running around. It's like a woman and a little boy. And Renji even acknowledges it. Acknowledges it. He's like, weren't you like a monkey and a snake? And she says, ah, don't worry about it. And that's it. That's the extent of the explanation we get. Alright, off to cure a dragon. There's nothing even, uh, even uh, preventing us from... There's nothing preventing us from going into the sky in this area, so that's nice. The other two had, like, uh, cataclysm situations that uh, locked us in there for a while. Did you, uh, did you skip the filler arcs in Bleach, Darien? Or has it just been a while? I always thought they were fun. The filler episodes usually suck, but the arcs were fun. Big ol' lump of fruit. Oh! Is that what I think it is? You brought that here for me? Just swing it. Surely he can, like, reach down. You don't gotta throw it into his mouth. Okay. Zinga, ding ding. It's a good catchphrase. Yamamoto is revived. Okay, I collected your thing. That wasn't fine. That didn't. That uh, that was fine. That didn't take too long. You're not gonna make me collect other things. Just because I have eternal life doesn't mean I can't get mighty sick. I, is it really eternal life, though? Because you were, you were dead. You were a skeleton. Were you still alive as the skeleton? That's terrifying. Bazinga. I, li I like this dragon. This dragon's the nicest. And he wasn't lying. He's got some good pipes. I guess almost dying tends to uh, humble an immortal deity. Man, that water dragon, she could benefit a little from almost dying. Dink, I owe you my life. You have to let me repay you. Give me some time to prepare, and when you next return to visit me, I believe you'll be might mightily pleased. All right, back to back to Levias. This is the only dragon that looks different. Yeah, the red one was kind of the. Uh, it was kind of the blue one, again. It was very similar. Okay, no, I was wrong. The dragon is no longer here. 
I wonder where he went. I thought now that I'd, like, cured the immortal, he would still be here in, like, a few thousand years or however long this has been. Okay, so, we go to the sky, we get the final piece of the song from the fish. And then that gives us access to what I assume is the final dungeon, which has been described to me as a hodgepodge of all the other dungeons. These tornadoes show up in the most annoying spots near this thunderhead. Alright, now is the fish- the fish is just flying around. I just have to go meet him. Hello, Mr. Fish. Are you having a good day? I guess I should go to the uh, the Rainbow Island to talk to him. Maybe. I don't know if I go here or if I land on his head again. Splat. One more tier trial in Skyloft, I see. Hello, Mr. Fish. Now I gotta land on your head again, don't I? Three dragons and a fish. Those, those are the guardians of this land. Yes, I have learned three parts of the song. I will perform the last part of the song for you. Fish got pipes. I think the highest of these voices was like a tenor at best. And then the dragon showed up. Are we gonna get a full rendition with all four parts? That's right, I'm the goddamn hero. I got a god and three dragons to sing a song for me. Alright, we now have the second artifact. We have the fully charged Master Sword and the fully charged Harp. Now that you know the song, I trust you know what to do with it. Should you succeed in conquering the challenge awaiting you there, I'm certain the path to the Triforce will be revealed. <laughs> what was the first song we learned? Did we learn that here? We learned four of the songs here inside the Thunderhead. There is a trial gate somewhere among these floating islands that can be opened by the hero. Well, I would assume that it's on Skyloft because we know that the Triforce is on Skyloft. Also, chat told me. These bug things just have to be here. They just have to be annoying. 
Uh, she didn't mean, like, inside the Thunderhead, did she? take out this guy with my with my attack yes I can get out of here well I would assume that I go I go like play the song at the at the goddess place that seems like the logical thing to assume but that does not appear to be the case Is it inside the bazaar? Or is it on the other side of the bazaar? It is on the other side of the bazaar. Is it on the... is it up there? No, it's not up there. It's just in the middle of the plaza. Okay. Alright, here we go. Final trial. How bad can this one be? Does this count as a Vocaloid? Do you think this ancient goddess sword spirit would be offended if I called her a Vocaloid? Hatsune Faiku. That's okay. There's only a 10% chance that Phi has the capacity to be offended. There's a bird statue around here. There's one. A fledge. I'm about to go into the spirit world. You want to watch? Come on. Oh, this is going to be weird. I'm going to be walking around like a ghost among all these people. That they're going to be gone. Link, where did you go? You just disappeared! What do you think that feels like coming out of him? No, no questions, Fi. I've done this before. I like shopping in the Silent Realm Bazaar. Ooh, that sounds fun. I wish we could see the people, and like they all totally ignore us, except for the psychic guy. He's the only one that looks at us, and he's like kind of fearful, watching Ghost Dink walk around in the spirit realm. Is this why vampires can't cross running water? Will they get chased by guardians? Is is water dangerous to, like, spiritual beings?
they do look a bit like Moon's Tears. Whoop! Uh-oh! I'm fine. Oh, how many of them are going to be down in these weird, hard-to-reach underpaths? I hope none. I'll bet they'll put some down there, though. I'll bet they'll be mean like that. I'm gonna have to, like, go down to Batro's house. Uh, there's one in the graveyard. Uh-oh! Ah! I didn't know there was water there! No, please. I didn't know he was there either. I blame the camera. I'm getting blindsided. Alright, I just got I gotta get to the graveyard. That's all. Nope. No no no. No, sir. Okay. Are there any ghost lights? There's one. You're just hanging around. This is one of the ones that chases you. No, 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 no. Leave me alone. Go away. I'm not here. Uh, there's one up there. Can I get there from here? No. I had to cross the bridge again. I just, I'll stand on the rail. It's foolproof. Should probably, probably be the last one I get, but... I'm already here. Also, it, it seems like the... Oh, come on! What are you doing? You got, like, Wind Waker-style spotlights? Go away! This is stupid. That's a stupid location for a lantern ghost. Oh, hello! That, uh... That wasn't nice. I'm gonna do that one first. Never mind. I'm not I'm gonna do that one second. This one's first. I can get a good viewpoint from up here. I tried to use my, uh... Well, I guess I don't have health, do I? In these. I tried to use my, uh, my sail. My parachute. But it didn't want to cooperate. No! Ooh, that was almost bad. I saved it. Oh, I missed it! Leave me alone! Go away! You can't see me! I 
Oh, I remember that one over there. That's the one that's like surrounded by dudes. This one looks like it sucks. Do these dudes like chase me? No. Okay, good. Those aren't the homing variety of. I get. Are, are those Pose? They look like Pose. This game also just might, like, might not have Pose. get there. I wonder if the trial resets in the same position every time. It looks like it, so that ghost will always be uh, on the other side of the tower if we do this one second. The fact that that bridge is like the bottleneck between the two sections of town is really obnoxious. Let me scope out the other ones, because we haven't really cleared out this side of the bridge. This is a hang-down spot, isn't it? No, it's not. It's just... Okay. That's a, that's a cool spot. That's a cooler spot than cool spot. bunch over here, and then we'll get the ones on the other side of that bridge. So we know where all those are. Even if some of them are a little bit of a bastard. Oh, they want me to do block puzzles? Bix. I can't go through this door, can I? I can't. Oh, no, I can't. Never mind. Uh, so how does it want me to get to the other side of this building? Over here? Yeah, over here. Ah! I didn't mean to do that. This looks like another mean one. They want me to go all the way around that ledge. It's so slow. I tried to press B to, like, uh, to scurry, but no, he, do he doesn't do that on a ledge. Nope. No, 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 son. No, sir. Alright, I think we just have the other side of the bridge left. There's only four over there. 
would like to get that. It's a little out of the way, so I won't. I keep almost jumping into that water. The graveyard one is kind of a bastard because of the, uh, the homing ghost. What is it? There's two left. There's the graveyard and there's this here. Which this one's fine. The only thing here is the water. I just gotta watch out for that. The graveyard one's now the last one, so I just I gotta make real sure that ghost does not uh, doesn't spot me. I mean, spot me as long as it doesn't catch me. Okay, cutscene. You're you're gonna make this harder. The cutscene made it harder. We're good. We're fine. We just have this one little guy left to avoid. And that's it. It's just that easy. The cutscene made that homing ghost way harder than it needed to be. I have acquired the holy bump of fruit. I got the Stone of Trials. Ready to lead the chosen hero to the hidden location of the Triforce. Link, uh, I watched you like you wanted. But, uh, it didn't look like anything really happened. You just kind of zoned out for a couple seconds, and now, uh, here you are. So, uh, what was that? It's one of a pair. Of course it's part of a pair. Now to collect the second one. Are you gonna help me? Are you gonna douse for it? No? Of course you're not. Does it, like, lead to the other one? No? I need- I need a clue. Give me a hint, Fi. You can use the treasure materials you find during your advent- yeah. Thanks. Useless. This one's easy. Well, I'm sure it'll be easy once you tell me where it's at. If- if you- I didn't have you to do that. I guess I can ask the psychic guy. You've got that smirk on your face. I do. I, uh, this is what I always look like. Oh, we're, we have a discount forever now. That's nice. Tell me where I can find the Redstone of Asia. This is important. I have to stop the Pillarmen. All is revealed. All I can, I can see what you're after. There's a statue of an odd bird with gem-like eyes. Okay, I have to find a statue of a bird. I don't remember a statue of a bird, but it shouldn't be too hard to find. How many bird statues can there possibly be here? Fuck trees. 
Yeah, I don't know how quickly I would have found this. That thankfully, well, with the psychic guy. The psychic guy has been very helpful for this game. Which is the first time I can say that. Like, I've never needed... Nintendo likes to include characters like that, but I've never needed one until this game. I never needed Merlin in Paper Mario. Or the uh, fortune teller lady in Twilight Princess. I guess I could have asked her about the bridge. If I didn't, I don't remember if we did. Did it work? Do we got the Triforce now? Boy, I'm glad no one was standing on those parts of the island. I hope no one is standing under them. No, I, I don't remember ever seeing that statue. Or if I did, I guess I didn't make a note of it. I just kind of assumed the town has kind of arbitrary, decorative things all around it. Interesting, uh, goddess-approved way to enter the... enter the area, I suppose. Given this development, I protect, project the moment for Zelda to fulfill her destiny and bring an end to demise is close at hand. The demise of demise. Kind of. I mean, I get, he does die, I guess. He just... We know he gets reincarnated, so to speak. Now, is this the dungeon, or does this lead to the dungeon? Is this... This structure is way too small to be a full dungeon in its own right. It's gonna be like uh, like a series of magical gates that give us spirit bit visions of previous dungeons we've been to, or something. The Sky Keep. Some uh, noisy neighbors outside. I'm gonna give that just a minute. Alright, sorry about that. Well, that was fast. You just walk right in the door and get the dungeon map. So what is this going to be like? We do in a Zelda 1 dungeon. Detected three sources of sacred power. This power clearly radiates from the Triforce. I don't know how the map of the dungeon is so big for how small it is. It's magic. Don't worry about it. It's it, 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 liminal space something. Uh, oh, I see what's going on. I can rearrange the rooms of the dungeon. Interesting. Well, this is new. Oh, it's a slide puzzle. God damn it. It's 
So I don't have a way of getting this one out because there's no way that I can shuffle them in order to do that. In fact, there doesn't appear to be a way that I can get to any of these. Well, I could conceivably get to the, uh... I can get to this green one. Yes, thank you, Fi. I, I figured out what was going on. This is a cool dungeon idea. It would make more sense if there was, like, an elevator at the start of the dungeon. So, like, we went up to a bigger part of the circle, at least. But we're, we're at, like, the very bottom. Love this sword. This doesn't seem like it should take a long time, but I'm, I know I'm gonna I'm gonna eat my words saying that. Nope. Abort. Stop. Why does he stop swinging? I don't- I'm holding fully forward. I don't understand the swing- it's- the swinging in this game is so non-intuitive. Okay, I'm gonna- I'm gonna like cut this. There we go. Hello. I still, I did, should have bought arrows. Maybe my scatter shot will do the trick. Yeah, eat that. How do you like me now? I would really like for that thing to, like, come over to me. Come here! God, if I just had arrows... I, I could leave the dungeon and come back. I could go by... It's, it's, I'm right outside, like, the hub world. I'm gonna have to. Actually, you know what? I have one more thing that I can do. I have one more means of dealing with this fucker. Yeah! Get bombed! Get beetled! Come here! Uh-oh. That worked. Did I get it? That yeah, got it. Good. Oh, I can't, like... Yeah, I can. I see, I see what they want. It's not too bad. Will this get all of them? I hope it does. Why do they sound like monkeys? That did get all of them. Okay, cool. Awesome. 
epic, as the kids might say. I was wondering where those, when those enemies were going to show up again. This Link has silly yells. Dad? Sillier than the other Link's yells. <laughs> uh, there's a shortcut switch here. These are very big rooms. I thought these rooms would be, like, smaller. Okay, you know what I need? I need arrows. Now let's see if I can figure out the arrow symbol they want. Uh... So if I draw an arrow, I'll get arrows. Arrow. Hey, it worked! Alright, so that's this room. They even have bird statues in them. That's nice. Is this this room's spooky? Oh, this is the this is the cistern room. This is the like the death water place. Design carved into the floor here is the mark of Fergor. Thank you, Fi. I probably would have figured that by the fact that I can't do anything else in this room. But uh, I'm going to need to get a key from one of the other rooms. And this just goes to a wall. This doesn't seem too bad. We do like, uh, what, six or seven, like, mini, mini dungeon rooms. I'm so glad that they have shortcuts so you only have to do the, each room once. This would be such a pain if you had to do the whole room every time you rearranged it. Alright, so that was that was maybe cutting it a little too easy. Maybe that was expecting too much. There must be another place that I can go to make this like rearranging happen, because otherwise there's no way to get this guy out. See, if I move that, I have nothing to do except put it right back in again. Uh, in fact, this is the only other room that I can access at the moment. So there must be a key in there. And then I think... I'm assuming once I'm in a Triforce room, I can rearrange the rooms again from there. <laughs> the X's are places to change the room. Okay. And Lanayru Mining Facility. Oh, they even got time stones in here. I bet Hylia just likes to mess with people. Hylia just likes to make dungeons. This was my favorite implementation of the uh, Time Stone stuff, was being able to carry it around. 
I can literally, I can defeat them by just outrunning them. Will this work? I didn't have arrows last time I fought one of these guys. That does not work. Darn. <laughs> arrows no match for missiles. Cool enemies. A little tedious, though. That's new. They didn't have any of those at the factory. Uh, I see the time. I see the place that I can change the room. If I use the bellows, will this blow that? I don't want to blow the, the, the time thing off is all. Come on, go through. The wind platforms are in the Lanayru dungeon. The mining facility, that's the dungeon that we're in. I was talking about the uh, the part where we used a conveyor belt to move the, the time ball. I don't think that ever happened in the original dungeon. Uh, is this the exit? No, this is where we came in. Uh, is there any reason for me to send that back? What's over here? Uh, 
Oh, that's a that's the direction. I see. I get the picture. There is a place to put the thing. I'm just worried that I'll need it to, uh... I might need to do this before I put it in there. There's several arrow switches. four of those. Did those open the... Those still didn't open the way. Hmm. Maybe I need all four switches plus that one, uh, that place to put the thing. Oh, there's five. Now this is accessible, and it's accessible from the, uh, from the entrance to the room. Uh, oh. Can I get, can I not get that back? Well, I guess I don't need it anymore. I, I figured I was going to put it here, but I, maybe not. All right. Not important, I guess. Alright, so I am here. Only one of these can get me started to the left, so I need to use that. Oh, but I can't move it! Hmm. I can't move the one that I'm currently in, is the problem. So how can I... This is useless. This doesn't help me at all. Well... Okay, now hold on, I can, uh... Would it benefit me to do this? No, it wouldn't. Would this benefit me? I can use I can get the, the red triforce down here. Hate slide puzzles. God damn it. I know what I'm trying to do. Uh, I want to get this one here, and I want to get the corner one in the corner. Is what I'm seeing if I can uh, work out. I think I can. Yes. Yes, I can. Hmm. 
All right, that's uh, I think that's the, the best I'm gonna get for now. That's most of the rooms already accessible. Well, assuming I might not be able to cross this one without the without a small key or something. Well, let's see. I guess. So where am I going? I want to go to the other side of this room. Could I just like, uh, I guess the, the door's open. So I can, no, I can't carry the time stone through there. Okay. Oh well. I had to reload my first save of Skykeep because I messed up the map. Surely you can't soft lock. I guess I could see how there would be potential to soft lock in a dungeon like this, but now nah, they've learned since the Water Temple. How do they got lava th flowing through one of these rooms? Truly magical. Master Beetle, we never knew ye. Uh oh. No, 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 no. I don't like bats. You can get beetled. I wanted to beetle them. It didn't work. I don't remember if I can slingshot bats. I, just, I don't want to use arrows. I, I run out of arrows so often in this game. Maybe I should have chosen a faster projectile. Come on. Yes. Uh, this was too slow. I'm gonna die. Oh, I made it. Okay, we're good. Thankfully, the lava platforms are also very slow. It's like a cruise. Arrows are scarce because it's primitive technology. You mean the arrows are primitive technology, because this world is apparently super advanced technology. That was cool. There's a series of, uh... There's like a lava slide. how this dungeon is programmed. Imagine this dungeon in a randomizer. That sounds goofy. It exists. There is apparently a Skyward Sword randomizer. I'm gonna scope ahead. I'm not waiting. Oh god. Nope. Get out of here. Leave.
I'm glad that these platforms last a lot longer than the ones in Wind Waker. It's slow, this room. How come this platform doesn't move? This platform stays put exactly in place. Oh no. Well, okay. I'm not going anywhere, I guess. Too low. I see. Okay. I know what they want. This room is a little more complicated than I gave it credit for. started late today. I've uh, adapted my sleep schedule such that I am now staying up much later than I did when I was a bus driver. I can finally afford to be to like be awake at the same time as other people in my age group now. As opposed to waking up at 5 a.m. and just like having no one to talk to for hours. Ooh. I have no need for this, but uh, I'll take it. I don't think I'm going to be spending any more rupees in this playthrough. Oh boy, what are we doing? Oh, it's just great. I thought I had to, uh... I thought I was gonna have to cut some stuff. Okay, where's this going? Just to a dead end? Solid ground. Offer your sword to it. Okay. Uh are there like multiple bosses or is this is this it? I got the Triforce of Power. How long has it been since you actually collected the Triforce in a Zelda game? Actually, I guess not, it, was, it was not that lo that long ago. It was Wind Waker. You collected pieces of the Triforce. But uh, have you ever collected the entire Triforce in a, in a Zelda game before this one? 
in Zelda 1, it was the pieces of Zelda's Triforce of Wisdom, I think. I don't know what Link to the Past did, if anything. Wind Waker, it was pieces of the Triforce of Courage. Always pieces of a piece, though. Uh all right, this was this was the, the the flume of doom room. This room is new. We haven't been in this room. It's another fire room. This is the fire temple room. Okay, so the pre well I don't know. They're too similar. The Goron mines in the fire temple. I don't know which is which. Or on my whatever the the first fire dungeon was, I don't remember. Can I do anything here? This is this is the one that had the tunneling. Are there any holes I can dig in? No. Did I just come in the wrong side of this room? I wonder if this is supposed to be the entrance. No, because this is the bird statue, so this should be the entrance. Oh. Well, the only reason this would be here is if I was supposed to do this. No, don't. Where'd the bomb go? Okay. Well, I'll restock, I guess. Good thing these grow so fast. Uh-oh. I don't think you can pick up bombs again once dropped in this game. I've tried a few times and just he, he won't pick them up again. Oh, hello. No, 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 no. Get off. Oh, or any of the dungeon rooms gonna have the, the electric slimes in them. I hate that. Those are the worst. Those are my least favorite enemies in this game. The electric slimes. The electric boko blends are a close second. Any electric enemy is just stopping and waiting for an opening. Hello, Dark Lizalfos. Okay, bye. that button do? Hello. Seek the gemstones that sleep behind each statue. Strike them from lowest to highest. Okay. I'm gonna guess this is probably the, hi the highest one, the one that I just hit. Oh, I wasn't supposed to do that. Silly me. 
This is some- this is a- a bomb bowling section. It is a silly game. I can't walk down there, but I can shoot it from here. Uh... What can I do up here? I don't think the beetle will cut trees. I don't think this will help me. It will not. So what can I do here? There's a... I guess I am... Maybe I am supposed to run down there. There's there's vines in that room. Finally using this mechanic. We kind of haven't until now. It's just been like activating things. I didn't even know I could do a sideways sweep until like two thirds of the way through the game. So this is supposed to be the last one I hit. I already screwed up by hitting the, the middle one first, so... That's okay. I'll go back down and I'll use my I'll use my beetle to hit him in the correct order. Which is lowest to highest. And the, the puzzle just kind of tells me what to do. Which I appreciate, it's better than me having no idea what to do, but it's not really a puzzle when it does that, is it? It's kind of arbitrary what places it can fly and what places it can't. I remember in the in the first lava dungeon, it would it would fizzle out over a lot of lava, so I assumed that it couldn't fly over lava. But no, it's fine. It's just like it's programmed to time out quickly in certain areas to uh, prevent breaking puzzles, I guess. This was the entrance. What did I what did I unlock? I unlocked this door here. Which goes to a tunnel. Oh boy. I don't know if it feels random, but it feels arbitrary. But it's clearly done on a case by case, area by area basis. Go back. Bomb, please. There you go. Well, now that I'm facing the wrong way. Bomberman theme intensifies.
Was I done down there? I, I didn't pay attention to where the gate then moved. Yeah, okay, there's a new tunnel. To think all of this was under Skyloft all along. Final centipede boss. Slow down. Cease. Stop. There we go. Right? And he's gonna go no, he's gonna go straight. Uh oh. Look at Link's speed crawl. It's not stopping anymore, it just keeps going. Cease! Question your route! Do I need to, like, give it an alternate route in order for it to do that? Oh, that's right. I can make it hit the wall. I forgot about that. I never do that. I usually just try to outmaneuver it. No. Come on. Run into the wall. Yeah. Oh, I tired myself out. Can't say I'm having a ton of fun. There we go. These guys are interesting once in a while. Two in a row is, uh... I don't know if we needed an underground mini-boss. I completely lost track of where I came in. I think it was here? Yeah, because that's the exit. Solid Link is excellent at crawling in reverse. It's one of the goofier things to do in Metal Gear Solid. Just get on the ground and crawl in reverse. Alright. Uh, let's open this so we never have to do that again. All right, this room is cleared. What can we do from here? Uh, well actually, from here, we can go... Oh, this, this, room, this room's always gonna be a pain to navigate. I always gotta go across at least one lava flow. Did we not, we didn't go in here yet, did we? I want to access all the rooms that we have access to before I shuffle around. Oh, this is the this is the main room again. Uh well, there's a chest in there, so that has to be the small key. Oh, hello. You're not a pirate, you're a king. 
And you have an electric thing. I see. But I don't like fighting electric enemies. I think I, I entered through the wrong door to fight this guy. Just uh, wait there, sir, while I move everything around. Well, this is the worst possible place to move, move from. This doesn't help me much. I need to enter this room from the bottom in order to fight this guy. I wish I could just, like, go through this door and grab his chest and leave. That'd be great. But, uh, no, that's not gonna, that's not gonna work. Alright, so... That looks like a good room. This down here is in, like, the best possible position for me to move stuff around from. This is in the corner, and it has two easy access points. In fact, I'm gonna- I'm gonna save in here. It's so convenient. I don't know why I'm saving so much. We haven't, like- this game has never crashed or anything, but... I don't know. Crash crashes. I don't trust anything anymore. Alright, so where do we want to go? I get- we know this guy has the small key, so we should- we should try to get into that room. That should be our goal, I think. And what do you know? It's pretty easy to do. We can make a little square for us. There we go. We'll just go in a big circle. <laughs> Five and a half hours and counting. Hello. Well, you just got a big happy smile, don't you? What do you have to say, Fi? LD003D Dreadfuse. This menacing robot guards Sky Keep. It is thought to be of a similar model to the robot that stole Skipper's ship in Laneru Sand Sea. As before, when fighting in narrow space, it is more effective to use thrust than to try to swing widely. Now I like to swing it. Like the Muna and the Juna and the Spring it. Alright, sword down. No, he's got another sword. He had a second one. Ow. Oh, he stabs twice. Okay, this one's not electric. Oh, it is electric. No. Link, defend. Shield. The sturdy robot. He only loses getting knocked back. Doesn't matter how many times I actually stab him. He just he's not damaged. He doesn't seem to have a response for the for the uh, underswing. Just a good uppercut. That's all it takes. How much did that hurt my shield? 
Uh, no, still full. Good shield. I don't know. I don't really know why I need the Hylian one. All right, small key. Wait, what dungeon was this room? Because this isn't in the style of the sand ship where I fought the other pirate. Were there two wooded dungeons? I guess there was the, uh... There was, like, the, the decayed mushroom temple. I guess that was that. I don't remember what the first dungeon was. I, I, no, it was that. It was, the, it was the mushroom Dark Souls temple. Alright, now that we've got that, we can, you, we can do this room up here. What is our best way to get there? I'm going to say we want to do this. Nice and easy. Actually, why am I doing this? There's an autosave, isn't there? Every time I walk past a bird statue. I don't need to be doing this. Was there an autosave on the Wii game? Or is that new to the uh, HD? Hello. Oh, there's two of you, isn't there? Back to back. Yes, there is. That's right. That's all right. I'll just get behind both of you. Uh-oh! No, please. Oh, okay. I'll take it. Great. Go down. Well, that worked out. I like how often enemies fall off cliffs in this game. I tried so much to make that happen in Ocarina, and I never could. Why, why's it gotta be snipers? Oh god, they hurt. Oh, there's a Stalfos! I didn't even see him! And thus, Link's adventure ended because the goddess decided to have a final trial. And thus, demise was not stopped, and the world fell into chaos, all because of the dumb goddess and her dumb puzzles. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think this goddess thought everything through. I think she's just kind of winging it. I get some, like, uh, I get some Rose Quartz vibes from Hylia. Oh, no. You're back. Wait, no, I know how to deal with this. Fortunately, if I just, like, slash enough with the final sword, they seem to go down quickly enough that they don't have time to turn and attack me!
This is still a very mean room. Having to fight two of these guys on a narrow platform with no guardrails. Okay, here we go. Into the clusterfuck room. What am I gonna do in here? I got a shield, I guess. Is that the snipers are just the worst. Can I take them out quickly? That should have been my first thing. I guess I didn't know they were there the first time. In fact... Why not just take out everything before I enter the room? That just sounds smart. There's another sniper somewhere. There you are. And... For you skeleton fellas, I see you. Oh, it goes over them. Maybe if I throw it. Oh, there's another one! Why are there so many snipers in this room? Yeah! Skeletons are easy with a Master Sword. Oh, that should've worked! Come on! Give heart. I wish to crush your skeleton brother and take heart. Oh, there were bombs in this room. I could have, I could have like beetled around everybody. Why, why is the music still playing? The room's empty. Oh, there's more. What are you? Oh, you're the Stallmaster. And there's also zombies. I should be able to kill the zombies permanently with the Master Sword. I thought... No. No, 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 please. I just... I, I wanted to get a heart, that's all. Maybe I can, uh... Maybe this is what gets them. Does that do it? No? Are they just not defeatable? I thought there was something that could, like, permanently get them. Parrying makes their arms fall off. Okay. Only the sacred shield. This is kind of a mean room. No, 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 no,
No, don't parkour now, Link! To defeat the zombies, you have to do a fatal blow. Is that it? No, they're still there. There. Heart, no, fairy, I need you. Come back, fairy. Okay, I failed to, I failed to scoop it, but, uh... Yeah, if I could have, like, Z-targeted the zombies, maybe, and fought them, but I, I couldn't really do that with the skeleton. This this was my first time fighting the zombies while having a sacred shield. The last one I was at the temple, I did not have, uh... I didn't have one yet. That was a good challenge. I died a couple times. And I, well, I I died well, I died once in the in the room with the bow bow blends anyway. Okay, now where does this go? This goes to the last room, which should have the last Triforce piece. The way is blocked off, and there's more time shenanigans. By, once again, stating the abundantly obvious. Captain Obphius. The only reason that I know it's pronounced Phi and not Fee is because of Hyrule Warriors. Thank God they say names out loud in that game. So I know about uh, Girahim, not Girahim. Yeah, be gone. Uh, okay, there's a wall. There's a scout in the room, I guess. Oh, hello. What is this? Get out of here. I'm gonna kill you both. They're running, they want to stay alive. You scared? Do you fear death? Alright, fine, you can live. Briefly. Uh, okay, so what am I doing? There's a wall ornament. There was something on the floor, but I don't know if that's, like, interactable or if it's just decorative. This seems like it'll, like, raise up if I do something. I hope... We haven't had a lot of, like, clear all the enemies rooms. That doesn't seem to really be a thing in this game. Oh. Well, that's a that's a convenient way to avoid the bomb part. There's a hookshot target up there. Oh, I see. I need to run along some stuff. And you, you need to die.
You know what? That's another reason I wish that uh, Saria was in Hyrule Warriors. I finally know for sure how to pronounce her name. Okay, I can't do this yet. I need to do something to open this gate so that I can then claw shot. Is it Kakiri or is it Kokiri? The world may never know. That's a fan. But there's nothing behind it, so what's the point of it? Is it... can't be just decorative, right? <laughs> there's an opening up there... ...that is open in this position, however... I have no way of, like, getting up there. Wait. No? Can I whip anything? There's a lot of stuff that looks like it should be something, but it seems just decorative. I don't think this is anything. So if I put this here, in this general vicinity, there's like a gap. Oh, there's sand! <sighs> Why am I dumb? I figured there's a gap here that if I was on the other side, I could like shoot through or something, but that doesn't seem to like matter. Because there's nothing up there that I could shoot at. Maybe I can throw it from here. Maybe that's what they want. No, I can't throw it very far. There's an arrow up there. Okay. Hmm. I have a thought. I don't know if this is what they want me to do, but let me try it out. Let me see if I can... Uh... Maybe I can, like, roll it from here. No, it does not roll. This is a very non-rollable object. I just need that gone up there. I can reach this landmass. I can run across here. I can get to high ground. I can defeat Anakin. There we go. Why are you trying to eat that? That's not food. I hate these flowers. Why are they such obnoxious enemies? They shouldn't be this obnoxious. Also, thank it's a good thing these time balls are like nigh indestructible. Okay. Hmm. What am I doing here? I need the fan to be stopped. But I need this to be not here.
Oh, it's there because I'm in the in the in the past. I see. Why do you jiggle so much, Link? Stop jiggling. You're a terrible sniper. Okay. Yeah, no, I figured it out, Apollo. I was just trying to... figure out how to get rid of the, uh, the landmass in the way. And that opened the gate up there so that now... I can do this. It looks kind of goofy, just like running and holding things. This Link looks goofy while running and doing things in general. He's a goofy goober. Can I get that? No, I can't. It doesn't work like Twilight Princess. I can't grab balls and bring them to me. Hmm. Am I stuck? I can't make that jump back. That's alright. I, uh, I can go back around. I don't like the sand physics in this game. I can't say I find this fun, having to, uh... Having to worry about how much stamina I have to cross gaps. Now, can I get the time... I guess... Hmm. So I need the gate to be gone, and I need this to be there. As long as both of those things are true, I can just go back up and around again. The time bubble is very inclusive. It makes sure this entire rock body is uh, in the past era, despite only a small portion of it being in the bubble. There we go. I did it. Am I wise enough? All right. This may be the first Link to have the entire Triforce in his possession. Six hours. We're doing it. It's almost 9 p.m. I don't care. Hello, goddess. You're kind of dumb, but I had fun doing your puzzles anyway. It's like, it's like the Link to the Past intro. We need to pray? I'm agnostic. Wish with all of your might for the destruction of Demise. Well, I don't know, I've, I've, I've never met the guy. I don't really have that strong, that many strong feelings about him. And now, Dink, wish with all of your might for the death of your enemies. Naruto would get to this point and be like, 
Maybe we can talk to him. Oh, hello. Are we going straight to the final fight? Is this it? You already know the twist with Demise. I know that, uh... Unless you're talking about something else. I know that, like, when you beat him, he says, My, my hatred will, will live on in this world and come back. And that's supposed to be the origin of Ganondorf. Hello again, Elf. We're finishing it. We're six hours and counting, but we're at the end of the game. We're gonna do it. I like... We wished for the, the destruction of Demise, and so the goddess statue just fucking fell down and curb stomped him. Thus ended the reign of the villain Demise. She dared him. That was his last stock. Oh, you broke the goose- the- you broke the Grucinator! He's gonna have to build a new track now. I have confirmed that the Isle of the Goddess, which was formerly a part of Skyloft, has returned to the surface. Is it still gonna be okay up there? Is the rest of Skyloft fine? I like it up there. In light of these factors, the seal Zelda maintained through her age-long sleep is no longer necessary. My projections indicate she will wake momentarily. Link's nose looks 40 years old, and the rest of his face looks 16 years old. Does that make any sense? It's kind of, kind of a weird looking Link in some camera shots. Pad Parasha. Who, who is, who is Pad Parasha? What is that from? Bruce nodding in approval. Like I would need his approval. I'm so glad I have Gruce's approval. The off colors. Okay, yeah, I, I know who you mean. Apparently, according to Illatox, there's an anime about gem people that uh, predates Steven Universe by, like, a little under a year? Just adds uh, a funny coincidence. I think it's called Land of the Lustrous? I'm sorry, important stuff is happening now. Our... Our gem lady has emerged from the crystal encasing her. She's back now. I guess technically a thousand years older than him. Does that make this weird? How old is Steven Galaxy? At the start of the series, he's 14. And uh, it's, kind of, it's kind of like the focus of an episode when people find out, because he, he looks younger than he is. Uh -huh. 
good, good morning, princess. How about a kiss for luck? The anime. Uh, I think Steven Universe was like 2013, 2014? I think it was 2012, and Land of the Lustrous, in its first form, like the manga, was 2011. I just remember it was a, it was about a year earlier. The Skyward theme song is Zelda's Lullaby in Reverse. I, I didn't notice that. Aw, oh, give the old lady a hug. Are we going to get confirmation if that is or is not Impa, or is it just like... Is it a game theory? <laughs> Hello? He's having a good day. best for everyone if you forget about your little friend. The little goddess is mine now. Get some, uh, get some stalker energy from Girahimt. My master may have perished in this age, but in the past he lives yet. Oh no, he's using the time shenanigans against us. Again, every game, every Zelda game features time travel more prominently than Ocarina of Time or Link to the Past. What a, what a lousy goddess. I, I guess she's tired. She, she's been working hard for like a thousand years. I don't even have the time to grind my heel into a worm like you. Yeah, okay. It's a weird energy, because I always think he's, he's like making moves on Link, but no. The one he's, he's interested in is Zelda. Maybe he's just simping for everybody. Oh, come on, Groose, you can take him. The sight of your appalling hair makes my gorge rise. Gorge? I'm sorry? Oh, oh no, he kicked the old lady. Gear him for smash. He's in Hyrule Warriors. And he feels the need to, like, pose and, and r do his hair thing after every combo. You can cancel out of it, but if you don't press any buttons, it, every combo takes, like, a second longer. I guess this is why this is why Midna felt the need to like close the portal in the last game. If you leave portals open, then bad guys make use of them. Makes my gorge right. Get like that gorge. That's like a, a a crevasse, a canyon, right? What do you think? Are you okay? You took you took like a kick to the ribs there. Oh, she's fine. She's she's a tough old gal. We have to go to the past. We literally have all the time in the world. I think. I don't know how this particular time gate's work time gate works. Should probably save first though. Y'all got any bird statues? Maybe I should go to Skyloft and uh, you know stock up. You know, I I really feel like I have time to do some side quests before I go in there. Yo, hold up. I'll be back soon. 
I'm not, I'm not actually. I just, I wanted to see if it would, like, stop me from leaving, and no, it didn't. I could actually just leave. I, I could go do whatever I wanted to for the longest time before I go in here. All right. Hello, Impa. You okay? Oh, come on, you could have taken- Gear him's not that tough. <laughs> he appeared out of thin air and got the drop on me. He ran through the great doors at the front of the temple. Okay, we, we gotta fight. I guess we, we haven't- we've never tried to, like, leave the temple in the- in the ancient past time. So Zelda is still back there. The original Zelda is behind this door in like a crystal right now. She'll be there for a thousand years, come out, wake up, then be brought to the past. There are two Zeldas in the, in this this timeline at the moment. Now we got to go out and we got to fight uh, Demise in the sealed grounds, which were pretty similar all this time ago. We're not going to fight the Imprisoned again, are we? You could not leave the temple before in the past. I kind, I kind of figured. Look at him do his victory dance. He's so happy. Good noise is that gear him. Well, start running down. Don't just stand there. Hear me, my hordes. The spell is nearly complete. The Demon King returns. Until then, you will keep that whelp for... Oh. oh you're just gonna send Luke's at you. Your final defense... Bokoblins. It's like Bowser spends eight chapters of an RPG coming up with this master plan, getting everything into motion, and just as things are about to work out, his final defense is just like 50 Goombas. Okay, cool, bye. Once again, we have the worst music track in the game. Well, he sure does have a lot of them, I'll give him that. Oh, no, he caught on to my bullshit. Do I just have to beat these five, though? Like, once I beat these ones, it'll open, right? Like, the helmet ones? The rest don't matter. Yeah, just those five. It is looking very Hyrule Warriors right now. <laughs> He's sending suicide bombers! Terrible suicide bombers. You can tell this is a tense moment because they're playing the same four bars of music over and over again. Oh, there's mo there's moblins now. Ow. Maybe letting them accumulate was a problem. You know what? Bring your sword out. Long, please. Oh, it says I have the I have the camera button. I keep doing that. It is nice to be able to do that whenever you want in a 3D Zelda game. It's been a while since we had sword games. Huh? 
Let's go ahead and pre-charge that. Yeah, here. Oh, that miss. I guess I should clear them, because if I don't, I'm going to be, like, fighting a style master at the bottom with vocal ones swarming me. These archers don't really know how to defend themselves. this game was Hyrule Warriors. There was a lot of Skyward representation in that game. Oh, just one guy? Oh no, he's gonna run away! Wait, no, I have to beat you to progress! There was a lot of Skyward Sword in that game, considering how, like, this wasn't a lot of people's favorite Zelda game. I get the feeling it kind of had, like, New Game Syndrome. Like, it just came out, so they wanted to fit plenty of it in Hyrule Warriors. I mean, it just came out, but it was the most recent Zelda game at the time. The tension! The suspense! Alright, what now? Uh, two skeletons, I see. Okay, the skeletons hurt a little bit. Excuse me, pardon me. Oh, it's like Black Friday. Get a good distance. There we go. All right, one skeleton down. Two skeletons down. Now I now I'm actually hurting. Now I need hearts. I knew like fighting actual real enemies while surrounded by vocal blends would fuck me up a bit. That, okay, that feels like a Hyrule Warriors moment. Using my energy attack. And just like five of them go flying. Look at that. Beautiful. So what's going on at the bottom right now? Is Girahim still doing his silly little dances? Are those vital to the resurrection of Demise? Every step. An important motion in order for the ritual to be a success. Oh, this dude, this dude can summon them. I just dropped hearts, come on. I'm fighting these guys to gain health, and I'm losing more health as a result. Probably not my smartest decision. What what are these things? Like Vocoblin Generals? Blue Vocoblin. Dangerous form of Vocoblin. Suggests as many as many times stronger than a red Vocoblin. Oh, 
Oh, I got a horn. That's nice. Nintendo pushed this game hard when it came out. Pretty sure it was also because this game commemorated the 25th anniversary. Oh, God. Arrows. I'm hurting. Pain. Yeah, come on, Demise. I'll take you. One heart. You and me. Oh, come on. He's gonna do it. Bowser and his 200 Goombas are gonna pull it off. His stupid plan is gonna work. Do I have a fairy? No, I didn't bottle the fairy. I tried to. I, I keep... You know what else keeps happening? I keep trying to... I keep trying to swing my sword, but I can't do it while I'm using the camera at the same time. And so he just doesn't swing the sword. And I eat shit. I came as fast as I could, princess. Very menacing. Very spooky fingers. Realize a simple child like you knows nothing of magic, but spells like this take time and a steady hand. Can't you wait quietly like a good boy? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm ruining your moment. Definitely let me win the last time we fought. First time, maybe. Last time, nah. Nah, I kicked your ass. With the power of pixels. Are we going to fight him on, like, a magic platform? Do we have a final gear of him fight before Demise? Given my station, I had to maintain some semblance of dignity, so I let you run with your life. Twice, even. Such a guilty pleasure. Instead of scurrying away like a creature with a basic, basic survival instinct, you just kept coming back. He's so shiny. He's like Greed from Full Metal Alchemist. And oh look, he's a sword. He's just like Fi. I guess this was supposed to be a big reveal that he was, he was not just a demon, he was also a sword spirit. He was a Zonpakuto. I've- I've prepared an endless plunge. I will take my time bludgeoning you. When I grow bored of it, I will drive you to the edge and deliver a last strike to send you falling to your doom. Is this literally a bottomless pit? Gravity Falls had one of those. It was bottomless. No one ever got out. Look. Waggle, waggle. Is that all I have to do? I'm sorry, it's, uh... It's just like a tug-of-war. Okay, it's gonna rise up so I can do it again. I see. Alright, cool fight. Oh no, he's actually doing something this time. No? Okay, yeah, I, I figured. Well, you know, that still kind of can work out in my favor, because I just have to, like, walk around him, and then he's close to the edge again. Spin kick. 
I kind of want this version of Gear Him to be in Hyrule Warriors. This one looks cool. Yeah, I know you can't hit the purple hands. I tried to, uh... I tried to, I tried to thrust. That didn't work. Girahim does not approve of anyone else thrusting. As a sword himself, you would think he would do some kind of like, uh... I don't know, some kind of bladed attack? No, he just, he, he punch, he kick. So he's a sword who owns a sword. That's kind of meta. There he goes. Okay. Oh. One heart. Okay. There I go. Now I have to do the... I, do I have to do the whole... No, I don't have to do the sp whole spiral again. Uh, I do only have six hearts. I don't suppose he would let me go get, like, some fairies or something. That's fine. I got this. He definitely carries himself in a much more, like, macho way in this form. I guess he's, he's like, trying to be intimidating. This first stage is very mashy. I, I have to make sure he's not about to ready an attack, but, uh... For the most part, I can just press buttons over and over again. That'll, that'll get him off the edge. I'm pretty good at getting getting gear him off. Go swing. Ow. Like that, those phases are nothing. Phase one gear him is fine. I don't know how to do the sword one yet, and I keep running out of hearts before I get to it. Also, I can't skip this part. Okay, so what can I do? Can I shield him? I've got a pretty good shield. I don't know when he's open. Maybe only stabs? Because of the because of the big obvious glowing gem in his chest? Maybe I have to shield him and then stab immediately. Well I I wish I didn't have to do the uh Wish I didn't have to do the first phase every time. I know it looks like a weak point, but that, like, stabbing was the first thing I tried and he just blocked every time. 
You know what they say about the definition of insanity. It's actually a pretty terrible saying because there are lots of situations in life where trying the same thing repeatedly can yield different results. Crazy that. Let's see if you can gather hearts. There are never any hearts around here though. Oh, that's right. No, do the do the blow. If I if I lose this again, I'll take a look. Times are uh, not so good. These are probably some of the these are some of the cooler bosses in a Zelda game, which kind of owes it to the motion controls. All grand. I think this is the first Zelda game that actually has had bosses that gave me difficulty for one reason or another. Alright, so if I dodge his attack, I don't have a chance to, uh... If I dodge, I can't move in fast enough to, uh, counter. But if I shield, I can. I can get, like, one hit in. Motion control's doing something good. I don't know if this game necessarily benefits from them, but it is better with them than it is trying to play it with buttons. No, go back. Away. That didn't work. That was a terrible idea. I wonder if I can reflect those. I don't know if I can. Oh, I got two that time. I can. Good shield. Goddess shield is a solid shield. I like it. Come on. I keep... I'm, sh I'm doing the shield bounce a little early. And I do it too late and I get hit. Good Sephiroth looking wannabe. Fake Sephiroth. New, new attack. New direction. He swing from new place. Alright, are we done? Oh, he's got fangs now. <laughs> and a big sword. Uh-oh. I don't think I can... I don't think I'm gonna be able to, like, shield that. Maybe that's me assuming, but I don't have many hearts to, like, experiment. See, I clearly stabbed him in the weak, spo weak pot spot. But it didn't do anything. So I, I would try to do that and conclude that, no, that's not how I do it. Okay, so if I do, if I do it once, then he'll just respond by guarding. Is it a smaller window? No, it's immediate. I cannot just, like, follow up like that. Maybe I can use my special attack. No, he doesn't care about the special attack. Try slicing when he's guarding. Okay, slicing what way? It seems like if he's holding the sword vertically and I slice horizontally, that would just... That wouldn't work. The sword would block it. Logically. Because that's how you would block a horizontal swing. 
Okay, no, I can actually break the sword itself. But he'll heal it if I don't do it in one go. I pressed the wrong button. Well, we know what we're doing now. Hey, uh, hey, Girahim. You got any more Bokoblins for me? What is this? Can I, can I sit on this like a stool? I, I just need some hearts back. Uh, well, yes, but if I do that, do I have to fight through the Bokoblins again? Oh! Okay, so, I, well, maybe I can go right down there again. Maybe I won't have to fight through the Bokoblins, but, uh... Y'all got a stool in here? Or a fairy? A, a stool. Yes, that's all I need. Literally just a place to sit down. I can feel the sword wounds closing. Such is the magic of sitting down. Be nice if I had a fairy for insurance, but uh, I don't think there are any around here. And this door probably doesn't work. Yeah, this door goes nowhere. One more. I guess I, I do. I need, do I need to save? I might as well. All right. I now possess full hearts and knowledge of how to beat gear him. Surely Demise will be easier. Alright, take me back. Fi. There's not really any attempt to, like, explain how I can get away with just walking back up. Fi just looks at him like, really? Oh, well, okay. How come his crystal is so dull? Is, is he still charging up? Is that what's going on? I guess he must be. Now his crystal is like a little bigger. Stabby stab. It, it doesn't really matter how you hit him. You just keep doing it over and over again. It doesn't matter if he guards or not. him. We can talk about this. We don't have to be enemies. I know you still have good in you. I'll just, I'll list lazily to the left. That'll get him.
It's better to lean too early than too late, because if I'm too early, I'll still, like, block the hit. Resume dodging! Oh no, he actually got me with two. Man. I used to be able to reflect those at him. Hit the beam the same way with your sword. Ah. Can I reflect the, the projectiles? I, I know I can, but is there a way to reflect them all at once, I wonder? I guess maybe I can just shield them. Oh. Oh, we got the full- we got the Ganondorf thing. That's totally optional. You don't have to do that against him at all. I like that there's multiple ways to fight this guy, though. You, you could do that instead of the parrying thing. Oh, I don't necessarily even have to, uh... I don't have to parry him. I can just attack immediately. Again, wrong button. I don't have the reaction times for this. He keeps fixing his sword. Okay, I'm gonna parry because that's what I know. There we go. I got him! This was the weirdest gem. This is preposterous. Driven to my knees by a simple child of man. What are you? I'm an optimist. Now, have you reflected upon your ways? Oh, the ritual was still going. Okay, well, we're gonna get the Demon King. He's gonna eat the goddess. This is a big achievement. Granted, this Link has, like, the full Triforce, but, uh, you know, taking down Satan, that's an achievement. Actually, it's impressive that Girahim did as well as he did against someone with the complete Triforce. I guess he still has it. Does it grant any powers, or is it just he gets a wish? Because he made his wish already. <laughs> He's still having a good day. There he is. I forgot he looked like this. I, for some reason, I pictured him looking like all rainbow colored. 
I might be mixing him up with Hades from Kid Icarus. He kind of looks like Lobos from DC. Turn him back into a sword. Well, that looked like a slightly painful way of doing it, but, uh... Yeah, he's got his own, like, Batwing's evil master sword. I wonder what the story of this sword's forging was like. Does he speak, or does he just st stand there looking menacingly? Okay, there he goes. He even has his own special, uh, special text boxes. So you were the chosen knight of the goddess. Intriguing. Goddess lowered herself to a mortal existence to keep me imprisoned. How pathetic. This bag of flesh pales in comparison to the magnificence of, my, of her previous form. Bruce, saving the day. Was that a compliment? He, he like, he complimented Hylia. Would he still have your signature again? I thought of, like, the Grant Fisher voice, but it, it's too late for that. <sighs> he, t he sounds it. He sounds like he just has deep man voice. Humans I've known were weak things, ugly more than insects, shivering under rocks and ready to flee at a mere glimpse of me. When last I walked this world, they did little more than scream and cling to their goddess, mewling and praying, counting on her to protect them. <laughs> it is such an over-the-top design, it's a little silly in this game. It's, it is very high. It contrasts the rest of this game by a lot. He looks like he would fit in in Dark Souls, though. He'd be like a secret boss or something. <laughs> Granny had some info. Okay. What's her info? It'll take time for that grease wad to absorb Zelda's soul. You can take him down before her soul gets all sucked up into that thing. You might still have a chance. Considering Groose's life experience up until this point, he's taken all this magic stuff with, like, he, he with stride. He's just rolling with it. Fear for, for, fear for your life, do not follow me. You can spend what little time your world has cowering and crying as befits your kind. Okay, so he's gonna he's gonna make an arena, and he's gonna give us the chance to like leave and heal up if we want. 
That's nice. This is a nice demon god. This is the most polite Satan I've ever met. Usually they're very unfair. Alright, well. Take a moment to save. Actually, you know what? I don't need to save just yet. I'm gonna fly up. I'm gonna sit on my stool. No, I got I got I got a stool up first. I gotta rest my cheeks. I could just leave. I could go uh, get some upgrades. Maybe I'll visit those cool robots in the desert. You know, I really, I really feel like I should upgrade my beetle before I fight Demise. I, I kind of want the fast beetle. That might come in handy. Make some potions. Oh, I forgot to sit down. Whoops. Very important. Now, I ain't ever use no potions in this game. I, I ain't gonna start now. The lone stool fills you with determination. No, I can leave. I can I can go through the time gate. I can go do like whatever else in the game, I assume. That's why I keep making the jokes. Like it's weird that I can do that. Seven hours. I was I was joking about having an eight hour stream. It's really gonna be like almost that. Once you enter this portal, my analysis indicates a zero chance zero percent chance you will you will be able to return unless you are able to vanquish your foe. Well no shit. I regret to inform you that if you lose, he probably won't let you come back. <laughs> don't think we gotta stream this long since Stormy Ascent. I don't remember. No, you know what? No, after Stormy Ascent, I did the, uh, I did the 12-hour Crash 2 stream. I think that was my longest ever. It's so sunny and pleasant here. Just because he's a bad guy doesn't mean he doesn't like, a, you know, a nice sunny day. Take a moment to appreciate your surroundings for where we stand shall serve as your tomb for eternity. It's nice. I'd die here. And then he got reincarnated as Ganon, and he forgot to use how ha, ha, forgot how to use a sword for one game. You remember the next game. Crap, he's a big bad demon, man. Twilight Princess Hylian Shield looks weird. I, I don't remember what it looks like. I, I don't know the difference between the the Hylian Shields. <laughs> hey. 
Yeah? Come at me, bro. He doesn't even have a title, it's just Demise. Yeah, I got first blood. How about that? Go on. Aha, I know how to dodge. Got anything else? Very scary dude. Yeah? I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop. Surely there's more to this. Can I not? How come I can't use my magic sword? He's got a magic sword. Ow. He's a glorified iron knuckle. I just backflip and then I move in. Am I attacking his hand? I'm trying to make him drop his sword. There he goes. Look at that. What a blow. That's very cool. You look like a metal album cover right now. Of course he's electric. I fucking hate electric enemies. Uh-oh. Uh, I parried once. He kept going. Okay, so I need to parry multiple times. Oh, all that, and I only got one hit in. Uh-oh. Okay, his electricity is gone, <laughs> but he's gonna charge it again. Wait, why can I use it now? What changed? Yes, I know, Fi. We're going in. Also, I need you to do your job. Don't just, like, sleep through the first phase of the fight. Capture taken. Wrong button. This first phase is just kind of a slog. Can I parry him? I can. I can get a little more hits in doing that. Oh, I didn't start with full health that time. I hate that it restarts you without full health. It's just inconvenient.
Come on. Bob and weave, bob and weave. Float like a butterfly, sing like a bee. He's scared. He's backing off. Oh. If I just hang out close to him, then he does that, that close sweep, and he doesn't have a lot of follow-up. Or I don't have a lot of follow-up. Oh, he has a double swing, too. When he does that uppercut, I just can't do anything back. Yeah, I'll claw shot him. How about arrows? I can't, like, Z-target an arrow in this game. That's not a thing. I don't know which motion is the double swing. That's the one I gotta watch out for. Can I distract him with a fishing line? Is that in this game? That's not the double. When does he use the double? I'm paranoid now. He hasn't done it since. He did it once and he's not going to do it again. Also, I just can't get any follow-up after that particular attack. So slow. Come on. I do feel like I was getting more hits in when I was dodging instead of shielding. Yeah, I get like three in per dodge with that. It's still pretty slow, but this does go faster. Come on. Love them Nintendo bosses. Wait and attack. Wait and attack. Wait and attack. Maybe I can do like an up slice. No? There we go. Give it to me, too. There we go. Is this all I gotta do? Oh, no, he's waiting for me to do it. He's watching. No. No, please. Ah! Well, that's cool to know. I like that I can use Lightning Sword as well. I just, I gotta do it better. You know what? I'm not gonna continue. I'm gonna quit. I'm gonna reload, because then I'll have full hearts. Because, for some reason, it doesn't just start me with full hearts. I'm not gonna walk all the way back up to the top so I can sit in a chair for full hearts. All right, this is the one. This is the time. We know what we're doing. We just gotta dodge, get a few hits in. Then when we have lightning, we, we use our magic lightning.
Nice feet, bro. That doesn't seem like a very good combat uniform. Isn't your cape getting wet? I know you're stronger than the hate inside you! You can still choose to be a good person! Oh, there is a jump attack. How did I do that? There's a jump attack in this game. Oh, okay, so I jump forward and then I do, like, a sword waggle. Yeah. Slice of the crotch. I'm gonna win because of the wet cape. It's slowing his movements. It's gonna be just enough of an edge for me to win this. I don't- why even have that attack? Why would he use anything but that attack? Because I can't punish it. That is the safest possible attack for him to use. It's plus 10 on shield. Do something else! Come on, Warlock Punch! It's not just waiting and then attacking. I have to wait for certain attacks. I can't punish that one. Do something else. Pretty please. Okay, no uppercut. No uppercut! Thank you. All right, now. Come on, do me, do me. Okay, we both got got from that one. That's all right. I'll take a trade. No. Bad demon. Oh, I wasn't fast enough. Do it. Yes. Ah! It's like just, it's the get up on nine and punch out. <laughs> I like how, uh, I'll keep just getting struck by lightning and no selling it. Oh, uh, no! We've come too far for this! Lose your lightning, please. My sword hit him.
Are those scripted? Is he scripted to like roll out a roll away from the first one or two? I still think that we could be friends. Extraordinary. You stand as a paragon of your kind, human. You fight like no man or demon I have ever known. But this is not the end. My hate never perishes. It is born anew in a cycle with no end. And then one day a Gerudo was born. An incarnation of my hatred shall follow your kind, dooming them to wander a blood-soaked sea of darkness. He's not wrong. This cycle's gonna go on forever. It'd be nice to end it, but, uh... It prints money. I wonder if they interpreted the lackluster response to this game as people don't care about continuity in Zelda. This is the game that we really tried to care about it, and no one no one liked it. So, uh, we're gonna go back to not caring about the timeline. His residual consciousness has been absorbed into the Master Sword and is now sealed away. Thank you. We're still not friends. Can we, like, go back and live a happy high school life again? I miss that. You guys were totally amazing in this little adventure I like to call The Legend of Groose. That's a- that was a joke. Joke or not. Yeah, you two can- you, you can have her. I don't care, Groose. Wow, he's taller than her. Groose is really tall. I knew Impa was really tall. Give me that game, The Legend of Groose. It'll be like The Legend of Hercule mode in, the, in Dragon Ball Budokai 1. Granny was really worried about you two. We don't want to keep the old girl in suspense too long. <laughs> and this is when we part ways. pleases me to know you are safe. Like, in private? You have successfully protected the Goddess Reborn and defeated Demise, filling your role as the Hero of Legend. My purpose here is complete. I ask you to dissolve our arrangement as Master and Servant. Oh, does this mean that I'm never gonna, like, see or hear you again, Fi? You know, that's just, that's too bad. That just sounds awful to me. But, uh, you know, if you insist...
So she's just still in there. She's just in the Master Sword to this very day, and she just she just doesn't talk anymore. It's kind of like how our boomerang had it had like a spirit inside it, and she did, did that one just didn't talk much. It talked to us once and then never spoke again. She took Dink's criticism to heart and never spoke again. Matt, do you think our uh, do you think our insulting her throughout this game maybe gave her a complex? I first awoke and began this task, I perceived it as merely serving my function as a servant to her grace. I have come to court consider the information corresponding to our time together among the most precious data I have on record. I'm sure there are people who, like, love Fai's character, and all five of them hate me right now. Oh, she's going to sleep in the sword. That's why she doesn't talk anymore. Before I enter the sleep that calls me to the sword, I wish to relay you words that I recorded many times over the course of our journey. Many have said them to you thus far, but now I wish to say them. No, don't cry. Don't cry over her. Put those eyes away, Dink. It's kind of a goofy looking shield, the goddess shield. I know it's based on the statue. But it's kind of a goofy looking statue. You must understand why I must stay here. I am a being of this age. She is? So she came from the past, originally. I know that, but... Ever since the moment you first cock-blocked Link... You've always had a special place in my heart, Impa. It's kind of hard to take this seriously because we have, like, seen none of what her and Impa have apparently been through together. The last remnants of demise are decaying slowly within the sword. Someone must stay behind to watch over this blade. The spirit must not reawaken. He must never be allowed to threaten the world again. As a member of the Sheikah, the goddess's chosen guardians, I gladly welcome this duty. Let's let's get a game about some Sheikah. Let, let's get some more on that. No? Now Nintendo hates continuity. There was a there was a pitch, a big studio. I, I don't remember if it was retro, it was somebody. But uh, someone pitched a game about uh, a Sheikah protagonist. Didn't happen, obviously. Could have been neat. So once again, all these all these ancient powers have to go back to being secret. Until, inevitably, they have to be used again. So after this is a, a, a few, like, games scattered about. And then the big one is Ocarina. Where I guess because his spirit was 
in the sword, quote unquote. That had something to do with, like, Ganon getting the Triforce of Power? I don't know. Was that the same one that was like a motion control game about fighting wolves? Or was that a different game? You know why Impa really wanted to stay in that era? It's because it was more technologically advanced than this era. They got robots. We don't got robots anymore. There's no way she'd still be alive if she wasn't eaten off that tree that we planted. I kind of guess. I, I guess this one. <laughs> this is a nice story beat. I don't mind old Impa. Old Impa chilled out. Oh, and then she's gone. She lived just long enough. She said, I'm done. I'm out. Bye. Oh, Groose is, like, crushed. He spent the most time with her. What do you think Fledge is up to right now? Is he still in his room doing push-ups? Ah, I bet he's had an adventure. Dear Diary, today I blew my nose. It was a good day today. I wonder what Dink is up to. On one hand, it's kind of sad that the sword was once sentient, and now it's not, I guess. On the other hand, I kind of wish it was sentient with, like, a more likable sword spirit. Give me a game- maybe you could have swapped. Maybe Girahim could have been, like, my ally. Making, like, playfully creepy comments about me and Zelda the whole game. While uh, we, we the, the robot could have been the evil one. I'd have been down with that. What did this end at? Seven and a half hours. I'm gonna let the credits play because I think this will be a nice credit song. Uh, I've 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 stated by. My thoughts on this game throughout the playthrough. I'm I'm glad we managed to finish it in in the week. It's an interesting point in the uh, Zelda franchise because uh, it gets criticized for being a lot more of the same, but I don't think it was a lot more of the same from previous Zelda games. This game tried a lot of new ideas. Some of them, some of them to benefit, some of them to detriment. I think most of them to benefit. It was very long. It would it was uh it was kind of repetitive. I see why people would have a problem with a the, the force motion controls and b the number of times that you revisit areas. I think that was probably a sour spot for a lot of people. 
I didn't mind it too much. I, I, I imagine there are people who would. I think I'm gonna watch, uh, I'm gonna watch Vinny's streams of this HD version, see what his thoughts were. I think Jack would have enjoyed playing it. I think he would have gotten frustrated watching it at points. Especially some of the... This game is harder than it looks, especially with, uh... Especially with the button... Controls. I would have had an easier time with motion controls, but it still would have, uh... I, I did still would have had sign a significant amount of difficulty as a game. This was the hardest 3D Zelda game. In my opinion. Which, again, is very strange to me, because they have a game that, with all the motion controls, I, it feels like they're really trying to bring in more casual players to the Zelda franchise, but at the same time, it's such a, like, gatekeepy level of difficulty in spots of this game. Especially the puzzle solving. There was a lot of really obtuse stuff in this game. This had not only some of the most difficult combat, it had some of the most difficult puzzles in the Zelda franchise. Like, the level of difficulty that Great Bay Temple was, the degree you have to pay attention to, like, the pipes flowing, the direction of the flow, where the pipes go, you have to really understand the overall everything about that temple. That's every dungeon in this game. I do think... If you had to make a motion control Zelda game, this is the best they could have done. The fact that it's a motion control game and I don't think it's a bad game says a lot. Say the same about like a Mario Galaxy. I wonder if we're gonna get... I, I wonder what games after Breath of the Wild will be like. Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. <clears throat> I know they've got that, uh, that like, bright, watercolored kind of style. More, uh, more bloom than, like, this game has. This game is extremely, like, mascot platformy in terms of the aesthetic. I compared it to Croc, I compared it to Spyro. There were some gameplay elements that reminded me of, like, Ratchet and Clank at times. All, all, it's very strange for a Zelda game. I think it's worth, I, I, it's worth playing, though. It's, if you're a Zelda fan, I don't think you, I don't think you should skip this game. I don't know that we needed two fire dungeons. The fire dungeons felt very samey. I didn't. I didn't like the digging. I didn't like the tunnel stuff. That, that was that was kind of a pain. Wind Waker didn't really introduce a lot of new items by comparison to uh, this game and Twilight Princess. Wind Waker just kind of had the same old items from Ocarina and Majora for the most part. Then Twilight had a bunch of new ideas, but kind of underutilized them. It would introduce an item for one dungeon and then only use that game, or only use that mechanic in the dungeon and then forget about it. It had the it had the gauntlets. Uh, I mean the the wrecking ball. It had the wind boomerang mechanics. It added a lot of stuff. And I'm glad they followed that up in this game. They added a lot of new items and new mechanics to uh, Zelda Dungeons and Puzzle Solving. That worked out. I like this game. As I said earlier, I might even like it more than Twilight Princess. I might, uh... There's a non-zero chance that I will, like, go back to this and do some more side quest stuff. 
I don't think I'd do that for Twilight. And her dad finally gets to see her again. They're teenagers. If this were realistic, Zelda would be running up like, Hey, Dad! I'm a goddess! You can't tell me what to do anymore! It's Colin and Stritch. But they're gonna have some questions. Like, Groose has changed as a person. Also, this kind of applies to every Link, but, uh, he's, like, he's hardened now. He's gonna have trouble going back to, like, normal village life after this. He's, especially on, like, that tiny little island. He's been through combat, and he's been to, the like, the huge expanse of the surface. I guess he can go back and forth whenever he wants to. He's not stuck up here like everyone else is. That begs the question, what happens next? How's, is everyone going to return to the surface? As a child, I always dreamed of a world below. I wanted to see the surface with my own eyes and feel the land's warm breeze on my skin. I think I want to live here. I always want to feel solid ground beneath my feet, see the clouds above my head, and watch over the Triforce. Oh, that's right. The the statue, they're not in Skyloft. They're down on the, the sealed temple right now. What will you do? Everyone eventually just starts propagating and living down on the surface. I'm amazed the Skyloft people survived as long as they did. They're they're gonna like they're gonna inbreed themselves out of existence up there. It's okay. The goddess left many gifts on Skyloft. She left a magical endless water supply, fertile soil, and a, a magical spell that prevents the negative effects of inbreeding. Those, those were the goddess's gifts to the people of Skyloft. No, I don't, I don't need a new save file. I might play more of this game. I don't think I'll ever play hero mode. I'm, I'm good on that. Well, that was our uh, Sky Skyward Sword stream. Tomorrow, we will be having a short stream finishing the uh, Majora and Ocarina randomizer. Better be short. And, uh, at some point in the future, we'll start Breath of the Wild, me and Jack. We'll, we'll see how that goes. I've never played, he's played. I'll once again be blind to that. We'll get that game. Thank you for sticking with me for this whole stream. It was pretty meaty. And, uh, I'll see you guys next stream.